this 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 Ballon d'Or way they won't give Messi like this. Like, <laughs> oh, like what you have? You know, make sense. Know, they don't fine, already bro. announce him. They don't what know? No, no, it's done. It, no, it's, it's already it's already done. It's already done. Una, una 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 Ballon d'Or, they, they explain for Twitter. All of Nago make them good. They explain. They don't give na criteria already yesterday. So explain the criteria they dropped. Listen, the criteria they dropped to yesterday. Is it different from the one they dropped last year? Because last year they dropped the criteria, and they said that it was a football season. It wasn't. No, it was no longer a. But let me find it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hold on a sec. Uh, Ballon d'Or. Uh, it's always been a football season, though. It not be. No. It's, it's, it's no. No. It's been. People come they abuse them when they drop that to the SDC. <laughs> Why they explain? <laughs> Um, uh, no, because 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 there was a problem last time as well, and they also mm-hmm. announced they, they announced the they announced the criteria which they which they are now they now adopting. So I'll be surprised if they have changed it again because they I I know the one what I remember very clearly is that they said they were not using the year again they were using the football calendar. You understand? And there were other there were two mm-hmm. other uh, no so they, they, so they, they, they were they were using they were they were using the year. They were using. They stopped using the players' past achievements. Mm, yeah. Right. And yeah. I also. That. Yeah. Yeah. And also, um, ah, there's there's a third one I'm looking for. Um. Yeah, I have. I've seen it. I've seen. I've seen it. Right. Right. So based on season, not year, um. Lesser votes uh, for member countries. Uh, previously, nearly all the member countries of FIFA were allowed to vote. However, this was uh, trimmed down to only top uh, 100 nations in the FIFA rankings and top 50 nations in the women's votes. The uh, parameters is for Ballon d'Or. The Ballon d'Or has often emphasized individual performance over collective achievement. Lekib reiterated that the full uh, swing going forward, the voters will now look at how a player performed individually first coming to what he or she has achieved with his team. The other criteria will be the player's ability and sense of fair play. So um, individual performance first before coming to what they've achieved with their team. Hmm. Then Gigi. thirdly would be the player's individual uh, play, player's ability of uh, sense of fair play. Going by this metric, yeah. uh, Messi, is, say Messi seems to have the edge of a hard line going to the 2023 votes. I mean, I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The Norwegian might have scored 52 goals in 53 competitions compared to Messi's 38 goals, but in time delivered in key games in the run to the World Cup victory. Wow. Uh, the, the new in time, blah, 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 blah. So the fourth one is the involvement of specialists for nominees. Normally, it used to be editorial staff uh, of the magazine who compiled the list of nominees, uh, 30 players, often uh, making the cost for the Ballon d'Or with 20 uh, for the Copa Trophy. However, in 2022, going forward, Lekki brought on a board other specialists like blah, 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 Drogba on board. No, so so by going by this, it doesn't make sense now. That, that it, make, it makes my point. It makes my point all along. Going because by this, say, exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I said. Wow. If, if you, you say, if you say, for your are quiet. Yeah, if you say, but, be, but, because but, guess what? Eh? This is actually, this is actually the same, um, you say the same criteria they posted last year. You know, and you know, in a, we did on the show, so we, we we did this we did this uh this conversation, and if you say the first thing you consider is the player individual before the collective, right? Yeah. And we all agree that we say that first. Mess Haaland is ahead already. Yeah. No individual already. performance. Individual, individual, no, individual, individual performance. He's ahead already. I don't. I disagree. I, don't, I, don't, I, I like I to don't hear the debate about that. that. I would very much like to hear I think I disagree. I disagree. I don't think there's a debate. Um uh, I'm I'm I I can be serious for once. I don't think there's no, a I'm debate. Serious. I mean there, there's the, nobody there's nobody okay. in the last calendar football calendar year who had the kind of season Haaland had. I mean, there is no human being alive. 52 goals in one season. First season at a new club. I won the on, new country in, in, in the process. I won the treble. Come on, come on, come on. I don't think, it, I mean, it doesn't come close. And I know what Messi did with Argentina was great, 
But so, what Haaland did in an entire even, season... Even, I mean, even, even at course. PSG, you, have you forgotten Messi was able to balance goal scoring and creating, uh, making assists as well? It's not, it's not just about scoring goals. Yes, I know Alan is a striker, but if you are I, looking at I, I all round I, play, I, I, the question all round play, the question is, all round play, the question, individual performance. I, I, okay. I think, hold on. The question is put up Messi's performance on the same plate with Messi's performance. Uh, hold on. I see what I became. Do you honestly in think in that Messi's performance what betters? Haaland's performance in performance. Yes. In, a, in a way, yes. in a way, in a way. Messi was able. Messi, Messi was able to balance it. <laughs> Messi, I, 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 anyway, was, I, 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 are you? Are you? Are you, are you, are you can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Okay, please do, boss. In 2010, when Messi won it, on what basis did he do that? Um, criteria changes. You know, like like you be read out the other time. No, it it depends on what. It depends bro, on what bro, the award bro, bro, you want bro, for that bro, year. Bro, bro. Bro, the reason I asked you that question, I asked you that question knowing that criteria changes. I asked you that question because the argument for Messi at that time was, oh, despite the fact that they didn't do anything at the World Cup, despite the fact that he didn't do anything at the World Cup, he scored, he scored 60-something goals or something-something for Barcelona. They won the, the, uh, the league. They, and they, yeah. he, 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 I became which, which. Despite the fact that Messi scored only one goal at that World Cup, the argument then was that the season before the World Cup was in the review year. And he, he didn't score that World Cup. Goals. He didn't score that World Cup, anyways. But continue. He scored only one goal. No, he didn't. At that World he did. Cup. I don't he didn't. He didn't. Whatever, man. Scott, Scott. Yeah, I knew he scored only one goal. He didn't Scott. score in 2010. Go and check it. He didn't no, score in 2010. No, no, don't let me be majoring or minor. I don't care. The, 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 the real thing here is that the argument for Messi there. So, I became, and, and this is what I, so that's why I would now ask you. It is not, it is not, what's the right word for the, for the, for the, at the risk of sounding cheesy. It is not honorable, my brother. <clears throat> To be to be twisting and turning because it concerns someone that you like. It is not honorable. That was the clear. I, argument. I like Messi too. I'm a Messi. I'm, I'm a Messi see, fan. That was the clear too. argument for Messi back then. Forget criteria. Now, what you're telling me, individual performance, IBK. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, the number of goals. No longer because, point to individual performance anymore. I can so for me hold on, hold on. See, let, let, I, let me let me let me please in it, in it, let me let me respond to him, please. Hold on. I can give you about two, three years that Messi has scored a lot of goals. And I think that was 20, if I'm not mistaken, either 2020 or 2021. Messi had about 50 something goals in the whole season. And still wasn't giving the ballon d'or. You know, they were saying that. Um, My God. They were, they were, the they were, they were, How many goals did they get? What was that? The individual performance like? Messi, Messi, Messi had more goals than anyone that, that, that year. Go and check it. Messi had more goals than anyone that year. You are bringing, so, bringing a point this, and you can't even fact check it. You can't even now, fact check it. You are telling now, me to go and check it. Now, um, Rufai, now this is it. You are looking at individual performance and you want to compare Haaland to Messi. In terms of goal scoring ability, Messi is competing with Haaland. In terms of creating chances, Messi is competing with I, other men. I'd be sorry, um, sorry. And, sorry, and, and are, you sorry to give, are you going to give someone who nobody, didn't even participate comparing, at the World listen, Cup? Wait, hold now, on, wait. Are you going to give someone I, are you going to give someone who didn't participate at the World Cup at all? The best player for that season, for that year. So this Boy, is so, 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 hold on. I think we're not you know, talking, you, we're not talking, you know, we're not talking team performance. We're not talking team performance. We're talking individual performance. Messi was great at the World Cup. Was Messi in my in my eyes? Was Messi Argentina's best player at the World Cup? I don't think so. No. Was, was he, he the, the reason best player Argentina at the World Cup? He wasn't. Really? <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I don't I die. Be, hold on. I, be, I don't hold on. die. Let, 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 I let don't me put die. this in, cont in, in context. I be, hold on. Argentina had a good World Cup. And it was, they, Messi was not the reason they won the World Cup. They won the World Cup because they had a great team. You know, a, a team that were, were ready to fight and, you know, battle through, through, through everything. 
Messi had a walk moments at the World Cup where his quality shone. You know, he's a top player. He will always show his class. But we're talking individual performance. And when you talk individual performance, you talk numbers. You talk effect on the team. This guy has bloody scored 52 goals and has won the treble. 52 goals. 52. 52. Not 32. Not, not 22. And you're telling me about comparing Messi's goal scoring ability with Haaland. Obviously, I don't think Haaland is a so, better goal scorer than Messi. Ability so please, can, ability, you, can, can I? Uh, high and I, want, I want to give you the same. Everyone. I want to give you the same energy what, what now. I want to give you the same energy what, now. What, now, you, hold on, please. What, hold on, please. What, what, football, what, football, what, football, what, football, what has Messi done in the last one year that you think in your eyes supersedes or betters what Haaland did in the last one season? Uh, last season. You don't, Thank this you. This is not an argument, as far as I'm concerned. It's a non-argument. Oh, in here, hold on, please. Now you made mention of the World Cup, and you are saying that Messi wasn't the best player for Argentina. I think you are wrong. I think that's. I, I think do, that's, I that's, think that's, that's, that's the total disrespect. In my opinion, to, now you won't beat me. That, that, no, I'm not. I know they beat you with my senior brother. Oh. That's the total. That's the total disrespect to to the hard work Messi put into. And then it's now winning the World Cup. No, now, no, you know, say you want, now, 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 remember, don't forget that when, when, when Man City, when it was, when it was around April, May, when there were a lot of trophies to be won, it, we, we, we couldn't, we couldn't really say this is what Haaland brought to the table for Man City. You couldn't. The, world, stop, the, stop. the Champions League semi-finals, the, 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 the Champions League final, the FA Cup. You see that position, you see that position that Man, the, hold on, you see that position that Man City were at that stage that you're talking about, that, oh, Man City were in a position to win trophies. You see that position. Haaland is the reason they were in that position. The same thing we mentioned at the World Cup. The same thing we mentioned at the World Cup with PSG as well. Did you read Messi start at PSG? Did you read I'm Messi start as PSG as well last season? Probably, Did you read I'm going to say something here. And this is probably the last I will speak of this. One of, the, one of the footballing topics that I hate to analyze the most, or that I dislike, let me not use the word hate, that I dislike to analyze the most is this individual awards thing. Why? Because in my yeah. opinion, first of all, even with the way it has gone this particular year, I think the keep or whoever it is that does the Ballon d'Or made a, a complete mess of it. It feels okay because, oh, it is messy. It feels yeah. okay because it is messy. If this was another player, I can bet you there will be an uproar as to why is somebody being celebrated even be the, before the award ceremony has happened. It feels okay because it is messy. Now, going back to the games, how can Lekip tell me or tell us that the first thing is individual performance and Messi edges it based on a, a tournament of what, 12 games max, where he wasn't even the best individual player at that World Cup. On what criteria? I'm for, Abike, let me finish. I'm waiting for you to try and prove a point to me that Messi individual performance was better than Mbappe at the World Cup. Don't try and talking about winning the title or anything. Individual performance. So yeah. you were yeah. the best. So, let make I just run this thing up. I go, I go lock up. You were the best individual performer at the World Cup. It was a tournament of 12 games max. Now, compared to someone that had a what 50 something games, about 53 games, and scored 52 goals. And you're telling me, IBK, honestly. Keeping a straight face and saying Messi had better individual performance in that in 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 in, in, in that under that season in review. No, oh, Al. When uh, World Cup when World Cup when World Cup reach uh, twelve games, I beg. Walk you know, we score games. Right? Now seven, Abi. Abi eight games. Abi seven games. Eight, I think seven, seven. Seven. You Make play in seven. Seven. the in the boss match. It's seven match. Play in the group stage. You know, one 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 round of sixteen. That's four. One one quarter final. Yep. That's five. Seven, one semi final. That's seven. six. Seven. Right. So, so, so this is my thing. so so this is my thing. Right. This is my thing. Um, and I'm very dispassionate about this as possible. And like Gravard said, I I've done a relationship for maybe ten years. And I when I when it comes to this period of Ballon d'Or, I used to I used to get sucked into it. You know, as a younger person, a younger football fan, 
not not these days. The moment I, I realized it was a it was a classist um and a popularity contest, I, I stopped. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna point out two things, right? Now in any in any normal calendar year, right, the World Cup will not happen in December. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. What that means is that we have been put in a situation where all of a sudden we have to factor in the World Cup into yeah. you know I like the season. Season. right into the season. So so on, on on with that already, we have been we have been given a, a bit of a you know we, we don't have a head start on that. Secondly, um so if we if we agree that that is to no fault of ours, right? And having said all we want to say and you know expressing sentiments. That that is the reality of it, you know. It was an it was an unavoidable thing. We all, I think, we've long gone past. You know, why did it happen in December? That's a that ship has since sailed. So we have to deal with the realities. The next important point to note to 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 mention, and IBK, you know, touched on it. You know, wanted to go into it is that, you know, when we speak about football as a global game, right, and the unity of the game, then. Why is it that all of a sudden, where a guy is being born from, you know, a country where a guy is being born and cannot play the World Cup because of the lack of talent, is now a big factor, do you understand, in deciding against him? When it's an individual award, more so when, when it's when, an individual when, award. More so, more so when it's an individual award. Now, I was verified at, at an award ceremony um, about maybe four or five months ago. I think it was the 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 trend trend of awards right yeah. and there was an award category that was given to a lady uh for was given to a lady for you know for raising some kids you know she was doing something and i told her five minutes i said you know some awards right you don't live to some awards you don't live to um to popularity right you give the award based on you know nuance and and context now I'll go back to you. I'll, I'll come. I'll come back. To you. I don't know. I don't know if you remember that award. No, no, no. That was the lady that had that orphanage where the, the, the kids the they dance. Yeah. They do, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, now I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back to it. How often would you say Norwegian, right, had the season that Haaland just had? Let's forget that he didn't score goals. Let's forget that he was just the best player in the team and he didn't have the numbers, right? But the fact that the one time, the one in lifetime generation. Or that doesn't make sense. The one in a lifetime that a player from Norway has scored that many goals, right? In Man City, won the treble, right? And if you look at the three categories, individual, he tops Messi, right? Collectively, right? The football season, if you want to look at it, it's three trophies. It's a treble. He still tops Messi, right? If you now look at the 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 overall. What's the last one? What's the last one? The year in review. I'm looking again. for it now. It's still for it messy, now. Uh... right? So if you if we if we can admit that, then how do we now celebrate Messi for winning the Ballon d'Or? To, to you know, how do we now take him to win the Ballon d'Or? So some things are not some things are not uh, meant to be sentimental. Something you don't need to add some some things you don't need to be a fan. Well, listen understand? to what he said. Listen to listen to something that I I just said. Do do. He said, though, the Manchester City striker, when it comes to collective achievements, which is the last thing, the Manchester City striker won the treble. Though one might argue the World Cup trounces that. Now, the World Cup trounces it, again, only when it is Messi involved. The World Cup trounces right. the treble. Right. Because... So, so you go back to the 2010, right? When the criteria were quite frankly different, right? The criteria back in 2010 factored in players past achievements, right? So on that note, you're going to say, okay, uh, maybe there's a case. But still, in terms of, there was still a, there was still an individual and collective criteria, which Snyder, Inside of it. you get, I'd gone to the final, was the top scorer at the World Cup, was the trouble winner with Inter Milan. So, I think, you know, sometimes I, sometimes I say that I come up, come up hard, do you understand? But it's because I cannot quite just stand Unnecessary sentiments. Do you understand? And and the, for the want of a better word, it just it is unnecessary. Do you get that you 
if you are joking now, I can uh, like, okay, that's fine, you know, it's what it is. But I saw I was watching the CBS uh, uh, Paramount Plus show, and you know they were going on about oh, no arguments, you know, it's a messy thing. And I'm thinking these are the same guys, you know, this is Henry Maca Richards, of course, Karga is uh, uh, Karga is more English. These are the same guys who, when something happens that it favors them, they'll say, oh, what happened to the smaller players? What happened to the what happened to the black players? What happened to the players of color? I'm not trying to make it about race or anything like that, you know. But in the end, if we say football is a global game, then we have to make it a global game, right? Of course. When the hosting, when the hosting rights for the World Cup came up, they said the, the, the popular bandwagon was it's not Europe's best right to host it. A small nation like Qatar of just two million people should also be able to have the right to host the World Cup. Now, if you if you if you break that into smaller bits, right? In terms of globality, in the globality of the game and the equity of the game, it is a travesty to not hand Haaland the, work, the, the Ballon d'Or award. Now I, I don't give, I don't, I, I don't care about the Ballon d'Or, right? And I was glad when FIFA separated their, themselves from the Ballon d'Or, right? I was so glad. But the, 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 the honorable thing to do, right, is to give Messi, right, a special award or whatever it is, the best player at the World Cup. That is a compensation enough for a guy that has won seven Ballon d'Or titles, right? You be no vex. You be no vex. For this okay. kid to be denied the Ballon d'Or this year, right? I think I made you my see point. What, you see what FIFA Best Award did? You see what FIFA Best Award did? That's the FIFA Best Award. The biggest tournament FIFA does what is the World Cup. Messi won the World Cup. You can make an argument for that. Messi won the World Cup. It's a World Cup year. Da, 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 da. He wins the FIFA Best Award. How the keep that claims that, oh, Europe, you know, Europe or whatever this or whatever that, Ballon d'Or is European, this is European. That. And, and, and this is my issue with what another issue I have again with IBK is we, we can be on Twitter, oh, we can bounce. Oh, you people know how you do your things on, 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 on Twitter. Oh, this one's their Messi fans, this one's their Ronaldo fans. We can. We don't we don't care for the we, we don't care for the facts and we don't care for the logic and we don't care for anything we just bounce. That's okay. That's where football is. But to try and sit here and make a logical argument to to justify what is unjustifiable, because make again, make no mistake. We're going by what these people released by themselves. Said individual performance. And IBK is trying to. He's trying to yeah, explain like why Messi had better individual performance than Haaland last season. Le, my le, that's the end. Frankly, frankly, that's the end of the conversation. That's the end of it. There's no, there's no, there's no for it. And everything I analyzed about the Ballon d'Or was analyzing as if to say Haaland did not have the best season last year. I analyzed it just for me, just for me, just to say, oh, maybe he was equal with Messi, but he was not. He was the best player in the world. And I knew this was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I knew that all of a sudden, when... And, and it's the same thing they wanted to do with Ronaldo at the time. And, and it's incredible It's incredible that Ronaldo has, what, five Ballon d'Or titles, right? It's incredible. Because all of a sudden, it is still convenient to revert back to, oh, it's not just about goals. It's not just about... It's not just, it's not, it's not just about tappings. It's actually about you know the, the, the magic of the game, right? <laughs> oh, how many Ballon d'Or did Ronaldinho have? You uh, get right. The moment Messi and Ronaldo came onto the, the, the scene in 2010, I'm looking at the stats here. In 2010, Messi was the first Ballon d'Or, was one Ballon d'Or. In the was second, Javi was third. What happened to playing football that time? You get. So I knew that in, the moment it became convenient, they will carry the goalposts. And drop it somewhere else. I change it. it. That's so now. But anyway, 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 that's fine. Uh, I, I, I look, my respect. Me puna, me puna. Stop. Congratulate my boy. When you win now, I know one year since. You get. I, I, I think, I think that. You can uh, do it for you know, the entire team. You get. <laughs> you know. Anyway, let let's let's switch let's switch gears. Um, let's touch base with uh, you know, some 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 Champions League stuff. Um, any takeaways from Champions League? I see them beat Newcastle. I say, ah, <laughs> I Newcastle. My own, my own now. My own now from from twenty six open bets to two. 
Guy, yes, you um, uh, Kingsley, Guy, I'm not even joking. Kingsley, send me bet. You see, uh, Sporty bet. Sporty bet are doing something very funny. <laughs> they're, they're doing something very fishy. You get And <laughs> Sporty bet, you know, you guys, right? <laughs> but, yo, you send me bets and say me I play the game. I open the game. They don't give me a load of bets. They don't give me a load of bets. They don't give me a load of bets. And that, that, that bet enter. Ah, uh-huh. that bet. Yeah. Enter. Kissy, Kissy play that game. I, I Kissy the Christian. Kissy play that game hundred now. You get. When we say I cannot play like maybe I took you on that game. Chop like chop like for something key. In that time, they always lock all these things. They be waiting. They know what they do. He say, he say, he say, he say, he say. I hope you play that game. I said which game. <laughs> no, I think that I think that when anyway. people, I think that when people. When there's a particular bet, a particular ticket that has got, or a particular game that has gone around a lot, and people have put, or a particular set of games has gone around a lot, a lot of people have bet on it. They will, they will start like some of these, like some of these uh, uh, Twitter influencers now that are pointing. If they drop a game, and people, you know, just boom, Please. rush and before you know it, they tell you this game, they they they, they, they cancel it. Yeah, I load the game, yeah. but I see I see red, 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 red. Like you know, green make I you know, you know, put the you know say if you load game, you show you place bet. Yeah, you don't bring out that place bet. You know, you know the highlighted. I say, ah, sporty, sporty, sporty one, you be zero. <laughs> yeah. Nice man. Anyway, you know, you don't chop bet because the, the way you the, the way you quiet, you like you don't make anybody. <laughs> And they, always send they, and they always send them investments now. I may look through. It never <laughs> comes through. <laughs> yeah, I think 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 Bro, salary, salary, funny. salary, salary. Where they say salary, where they say save before you spend. <laughs> salary, you don't even wish to, to, to spend again. <laughs> salary, bro. Right, like, it's so it's so wild, man. It's so wild. Yeah, I was going to even guys, guys, guys. Why I know say why they see on Twitter? What we say? They say this guy's not baller. This babe not baller. You understand? This person, I know say this person the chop life, bro. Like. Of course, you cannot talk from distance, but when I see their tweets, I say, ah, you see, this is like, you touch your side. You need that side too. <laughs> Bro. We were, I, was know, going through, I was going through somebody's trend. So you have people like in the comments. And the guy said, man, that he has a brother that's on daily medication. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I one, of, the, one of his drugs went from 7K to 20 something K. So that, that's the moment we realized that enough. during the last election when people were saying, man, if you're supporting these people, these people, you're after my life. They were they were legit. They legit knew what they were saying. And that's facts. No, it's because it's, it's, no, it's certain. I have, it's personal, certain. I have a personal experience. Yeah. Like, last year, even as a last year, yeah. December, drugs oh, will be like, drugs will be like, was it 7 to 10K? As at the time I stopped buying that same drug, I think later on this year it was about maybe 15k or 17k thereabout. It's insane. Yeah, I saw I saw that I just skipped the idea. I didn't want it to. I know the certain healer. Okay, um, my bro is asthmatic. So um, you know, we didn't buy inhaler normally. Like it's uh it's it's, it's crazy, man. I I like if 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 they, if you if they if they put prayer if they if they cost you an NPC supporter, it will catch you. There's no two ways about it. Like it will catch you. You understand? You know, there's no two ways. There's no. I think I think we're past a point where the words will do it. It's people's pain that will find you. It's as simple as that. As I mean, we're past. We're past uh, thinking about. You know. You know. See that tweet. You know. See that tweet. Three person put uh, a batch of daughter. See. A bunch of daughter won generational cost zero. <laughs> you know, they know, money you know they know the effect of generation. You know they you know they know the effect of generator generational cost with a filtered picture now. Make everybody they play for Twitter. 
Yeah, it's crazy, man. Anyway, let's let's uh, stick to football. Um, <laughs> so look, I was I was so pleased. I, I you know I was watching the game in uh with, with some 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 men we get houses for for my estate and I come back and I'll be there and I'll another for there. But I was. It's only right that you know when a player gets criticism. I said it. I told the guy, the guy that was sitting beside me, for another kid in the penalty. I said, if he says that penalty, that's where his United career begins, you know. And someone, someone reminded me yesterday, like go back and check the penalty that um, that Sheffield scored. When I almost said that penalty, Juge. Um, and this is what I, this is what I believe. I think that you know football is about moments, right? And moments can define moments can define define a career can give you a trajectory can moments can change your direction of travel, and I felt like yep. that game was the kind of game that he needed. Like, and that's why I said sometimes it is difficult to remove a goalkeeper from. I think it, for me, I think the number six position is the most is the most demanding position in football, but maybe the most uh, risky position in the football is goalkeeping position. Yep. Right, I will speak about Ramsdale and you know and Raya in just a bit, <laughs> right? But that's that's that right there, that Nana, that Nana performance right there was a clear example of why it is it is not the right thing to have a knee jerk reaction on a goalkeeper. You must allow the goalkeeper, especially when you see that you know they are an experienced guy. Now, if they are a young goalkeeper, it might be important to you know to protect them a little bit. It might be important to give them a bit of, of, of shielding. But for an experienced guy like Onana, you know, it's important to allow him to prove himself because what he has done in his career all through is prove himself and overcome obstacles. So it would be wrong that the biggest stage of maybe his biggest obstacle yet, you take him out of the firing line. Um, so I thought it was important to for him to save that penalty and I think that's, 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 that's the beginning of it. Uh, but let's touch base with um with this Raya Raya and um Ramsdale thing. So look, I don't talk up now. I said it on our first recording of the season that I believe that you are creating a problem that you do not need, right? Now football teams do it. You know, it's a new trend that's happened over the last maybe 10 years. And I think Mourinho. Is the one that's always made it clear. Mourinho is the one that's always made it clear when it has to go goalkeepers that one has to go, right? Because there's something he understands about that position. You know, um, Ferguson knew that as well. Um, Pep Guardiola knows that, right? The goalkeeping position is like it's like the it's like it's the it's, it's the position that can send the whole stadium at bliss. Do you get? Is the one position in football that if the goalkeeper say a, a faulty touch, the stadium will rise decibels. You know, is the one position that can make everybody on the bench run to the line. I'm like, what's happening there? As a result of being the most polarized position, you want to keep it as stable as possible. And one of the things that managers do, even though they will not admit it, is to have not have two equal goalkeepers. Or seemingly equal goalkeepers of equal abilities. Now, what that does, so, so, okay. what that, what that does when you have two goalkeepers of equal ability is that each goalkeeper starts to play within themselves. Do you get? They're thinking about the next mistake because they know that the guy on the bench is as good as I am, and the manager is, you know, creating that thing where you know I want to drop you and play somebody else. And, what, and, there's, and there's nothing like playing within yourself. When you start playing within yourself, is the worst thing. When you see a player that is, was normally a baller where he was, then all of a sudden he starts playing within himself, starts thinking too much. Oh, this person I would normally make, and I've seen it for Onana as well. When confidence is confidence is not sapped or is sapped, but it's not. You see, they start instead of making a, a, an instinctive play, they're thinking, oh, what if I make a mistake? And you see, for goalkeepers, that slight moment where you make it, where, where you overthink it and turn, is costly. You know, when Mourinho had um, at Madrid, when he had, um, what's his name? The, the Diego Lopez. Diego Lopez, yeah. And, and Casillas. Casillas, yeah. He made it clear. Casillas had to go. Made it clear to Casillas. Casillas, look, I don't think you're my number one anymore. He had to go. When at Chelsea, he had Couture 
and check. He made it clear to check that, check. It is time to transition, you know, and ultimately, at the moment, check was probably still slightly better than, than Couture, or even actually better than Couture, but Mourinho was making a choice for the close future. You know, make a call for the choice future because for the close future because in the end, if we lose this 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 kid now, in two years time or three years time, we have to replace this goalkeeper. So I say, you know what? You have won all these things. You won the Champions League. You won everything. You know, move ahead. I'll bring a new goalkeeper. That kind of thing. At United as well, it was same thing. You know, Romero and Digue. You know, they're not equal goalkeepers, but the other one is an able deputy. United had um United had um. Howard and um Howard and another goalkeeper, they were like they were like half and half. And it did not work. I can't hear you. You are muted, Ini. You are muted. Tim Carroll, Tim Carroll. I think it's Tim Carroll. Tim Carroll is his name. Do you yeah. get it? It did not it, it was not going to work. It was not going to work. You know, so that's what I when I watch Ateta now, I'm like, this problem yeah. will not go away. If you think I, that this problem would just over two months, every game, every two games, there'll be a conversation about Raya and Ramsdale. Now, more so, yeah. that, that's, just, that's just the start of it. Sorry, Rufai. The next part is the is the dressing room, the, the what is sense to the dressing room. Because mm. if I if I can read Ramsdale well, he's a he's an outspoken fella. Jigge. You know, yeah. if I can read him well, he's a you know, English boy, gets himself about the place, that kind of thing. Is that you know? Is that it's, it's, that, it's, it's a problem. That, and, I think that. Um... Okay, so, sorry, sorry. If I, let me go because I remember when 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 this signing was made, Ubi was you know Ubi said this is a problem, and I felt so too because it's a cliche when when you hear things like don't break it, don't don't fix it if it's not broken, you know. And Ramsdale is a proper goalkeeper. Ramsdale, you know, with his hands, a proper goalkeeper with his feet. Maybe Raya is a little better. But the problem now is Ramsdale hasn't done anything wrong and you have replaced him. It's not like he started the season and he's had an absolute blooper or he's made errors here and there and you've taken him out. If that happened, it would be a little bit understandable. But Ramsdale hasn't done anything wrong. You've just taken out a goalkeeper who was very reliable and put another one because... He's better with the ball at his feet. You know, he fits what, how you want to play. The problem now is, it's just so perfect the way UB has put it. Because at Brentford, I've never seen Raya this rattled. You know, yep. he's always been yep. very calm on the ball. You know, very calm on the ball, picks, makes the right decision, and he's a very good goalkeeper. But he looks like he's so rattled. He's made, that pass he gave to, to, to Kopama, against yeah. Chelsea when the game was 2-0, that is the goalkeeper who is who is an absolute, who is a bundle of nerves. That pass he gave to, to, to Cole Palmer. And that is because the guy is thinking, he doesn't want to make mistakes. He does, he, he's trying to impress. He's trying to show why he should be the number one. And that's not something you need. I think that has made a, it's such a horrible decision. I don't know who, how we will, explain or try to convince people that bringing a goalkeeper who have got who has got an equal ability with the goalkeeper you already have this guy that left for nottingham forest what's his name now uh, Matana. 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 Right, right, right. is the u.s number one and i understand he's a good goalkeeper Matana a very is very good goalkeeper <laughs> Matana wanted to leave because he wanted to play regularly yeah. and i understand that but the goalkeeping position is such a delicate position on the pitch that you cannot you cannot flex with it. You cannot play with it. It's a total mess. You know they will tell you, oh, Ramsell, you know, is working hard trying to get his position back. Because I thought personally, when Raya was signed, I thought that the manager wanted to interchange them with Champions League and the Premier League. You know, so keep one goalkeeper in the Champions League, keep one goalkeeper in the Premier League. That's what I thought he wanted to do. But he's playing Raya every time. Raya has made one, two mistakes. He made a mistake against Man City. You know, almost <laughs> got cut out. He didn't get cut out against Chelsea. Absolute mess. Made a mistake against uh, uh, Sevilla. Wasn't punished. 
the more this continues, every time, the guy is going to get so uncomfortable in that goalpost and will start making mistakes and will start affecting the entire back line. I'll say this, right? And, that and what you guys have said. That last point he made. Yeah. The only amount of time. Is confidence is like, con con confidence is like a... Confidence is like a... Like, it's like capital. You build it, you build it, right? The most confident team in the Premier League are Man City, right? Followed by Arsenal, right? You build it, you, you accumulate it. And how you accumulate it, you, you know, Man City have accumulated confidence in the bank worth four seasons, right? Worth four mm -hmm. seasons. They are that confidence that if they have a five-game bad run, right? You have players that would are still thinking, ah, ah, are you going to play? Now we now. I mean, I should have the me. Arsenal's confidence is worth one season. One, one, right? Now, it's a one season and it's, it doesn't have any buffer. Now, the moment you slash it and slash it, right? All of a sudden, you are operating and you're, you're thinking, okay, uh, maybe we're not all that. The players are not ironclad yet. The players are Man City. All of them ironclad, right? So more, yeah, more yeah, so, what I, more so what aided by the manager. So in his point, very, very, very accurate. Very accurate. I said it last week. Was it last week I said it? That defending is not just about the individual players. It's a, it's a, it's a collective perception. So it's the individual, yeah. the perception in the team themselves, which you can break down as confidence in each other. And then the perception to opposition, which you can break down to, man, those guys, man, don't go near them. They're crazy. You know those back lines yeah. back in the day? Yeah. When you talk about, you know, Vidic, Ferdinand, and then you got Van der Sar in goal, and then you got right back, Larry. We're talking about Terry, Cabal, you got Peter Cech in goal. What are you talking about? So you know those back lines. They built, and that thing there eh, is built on a lot of things. The number of games they played together, the, the, the number of games each of them have played, irrespective of whether it is together, the number of titles they've won, the experience that Definitely. they have. Individually, in themselves, they are men. They have become men. And I, I, I'll go to this, right? Because a single mistake in the goalkeeping position, like you guys said, the chances of that mistake costing the team, obviously higher than any other position. Mikel said something recently. About you don't recall you, you don't know, you don't recall Mikel for first name business. <laughs> now wow, problem. No be at the talk. Okay. You don't say all you don't say that. Like say no, I don't want to call it. Like say no, I don't want to call it. Say Mikel, you know Mikel said. I say ah ah, you don't get Mikel number. Hey, go. So Mikel said recently that you know you get into Chelsea. He said he said John Terry literally ran the club on the pitch. And he mentioned, you know, they asked him, the guy asked him, what was the time that he felt like he started getting into the inner circle at Chelsea? And he said, probably 2010. And it was a preseason game. We are playing against AC Milan. And that day, he was just feeling it. You know, sometimes you're a football player, you get on the field that day, you're just on your game. You, you, you're feeling it. And, you know, he would get the ball from, from with his back to the field, dribble past the likes of Ronaldinho. He was busting, he was busting the game from the number six position. He said he did one at some point. Terry, John Terry called him. He said, Mikel, that's, that, that, that's okay now. That's good for now. Play simple from here on out. He said, well, shocked. Sure, he said, well, I'm enjoying the game. I'm having a good time. I've been watching you since, but please, that, that's you what... You understand? He, that, said, that's he, said, that... he said, 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 he told me, he said, Mike, that's okay now. That's good now. Play simple from here on out. He said, after the game, he asked him, I said, why would you say that to me? Preseason game, AC Milan, all the top players were on the field. I was having a good time. He said, you know what? Because I see the way you've been playing in preseason. You're about to start the season. I know you're going to start the season because of how you've been performing in preseason. And it takes only one mistake. It takes only one mistake. They scores and all, everything you have done is gone. Out the window. <clears> and he said, yeah, I went yeah, on yeah, to have yeah, one yeah, of my yeah, best yeah, seasons yeah, yeah, He said, I went on to have one of my best seasons at Chelsea. And that was true. Until Mikel got injured, he was playing every game. Meanwhile, Balak, Essien, Deco, all these people went in. And he was playing every game. Yeah. So, when you, when you put that side by side with the goalkeeping position, which is, more, which is riskier, the team, the coach more often than not, wants to simplify the 
the, the environment around the goalkeeping position. Wants to simplify the conversation around the goalkeeping position. And we talk about playing out from the ground because what they are going to tell you is that Ateta believes that Raya gives them a better a, a, an edge with how they want to play. Da, 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 da. Let's go to the manager that maybe a new football now introduced. People have been doing it before. But Pep Guardiola, it felt like Pep Guardiola was the one that brought it back and said, This is how we're going to go. When Pep came into Manchester City, he could, Pep could have said, I want a, a, a ball playing keeper, but I'm going to keep Joe Hart because he also wants to try and learn it. But he knew that keeping Joe Hart in the team would do more harm than good to the team he was trying to do. He was trying to build. And that's a Pep that came in and made that decision immediately. Ateta has been there three years plus. So when you when you make that kind of decision and you bring in a Raya, and again, when Pep brought in Ederson, the difference, I mean, he brought in, uh, what's his, this guy's name first? Uh, bravo, 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 bravo. Bravo. Bravo, yeah. We could see what Bravo wanted to do, but he didn't cut it. The moment he brought in Ederson, the, you, you immediately you could see that almost this one where they bring now we so when you so bring in a I, Raya, okay. When you bring in a Raya, and that's why I feel like again it's unfair because you dropped Ramsdale for not doing anything. Raya has been making mistakes every single game, and he keeps playing. So Rufai, yeah. uh, another school of thought. I, I think even even before. When we were seeing the news that I was going to sign Raya, I, I said it at some point that Ateta knows what he was doing. I, I think it, there was no way you could tell Ram, Ramsdale that, oh, I don't think I, 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 I'm confident in you enough. You can't tell him to just keep the club. You know, there's and like, like Yoruba will say, sometimes now nah, I can't ask, go take no say, your mama, your you father. You Yoruba, you can't use English. I'll be careful to the end. I know that we talk out for you. You know, say, you know, say, you know, say, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like telling, telling Ramsey that you are not, you are not all done dead at the club because you are bringing someone. More like a far, you get. So you don't, and a lot, a lot of these, a lot of these coaches, they don't want to hurt these players because in the end, they play the game as well. You get, they play the game and they understand the fact that you going. You get you going to a player and tell him that oh my, I don't think you're he's, he's ruthless. Think, then, but you get ah, but bringing I, 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 I told if he announced now I said I said just look at what the tower is going to do. He probably just send a message to uh, Ramsey that I, I don't think you are needed. And once he leaves, they will bring in someone not as good as Raya because there is no top goalkeeper that would want to sit on the bench. And I always call yeah. that that position an unfair position because. You can't really, as a goalkeeper, you can't really expect to always play, especially when you know that you are not ahead of the pecking know, order. You can't really expect that, oh, this is the game I'm going to play or not. So you need to have someone who understands that, okay, I, I will get my moment. But you can't have a top goalkeeper like Ramsdale sit on the bench. And I don't feel January, maybe Ateta would, would, would let him go. I think January would, would let him go because it's very obvious that I don't want you at the club anymore. So, like you yeah, said, you said, uh, so uh, the don't let compare. So, the funny thing is that the position, and I, I still remember you, 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 you be saying this, the position Ateta should have done what he's done with the goalkeeping position should have been the striker position, you know, that and, Gabriel Jesus position, you know, where, and, and Gabriel Jesus, you know, I love him. I love his industry. He's not a centre forward, you know. It's taken me quite a well, while. I don't know which Pep Guardiola will be know that time, and I don't know how long. You know, <laughs> it's taken me quite quite a while to admit he's not. He's not a reliable number nine. He won't get you as many goals as as you think he would. He's not. His finishing is not that great, you know. You Martinelli like is a better yourself. finisher. Now better number you know? nine. Where are they looking? <laughs> no, Martinelli is a better finisher than him. Frosan is a better finisher than him. Even Saka these days looks like he's a better finisher than him. He's not a He's not a two in three chances, you know. He's not that guy, you know. But he's. You mean, he's what did you we talk about agents last week? In you know, because for the way he won't make so much in it, and he will continue because Gabriel Jesus they look for Arsenal contracts. He got first year. What exactly? He did not. 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 But for the way, for the way he played. For, for the way he plays, for, for the way he plays, he's a guy that you want to have in your team because he has flashes of brilliance about him. You know, just imagine the goal yeah. he set up for Martinelli at Sevilla. You know, he's got that ability yeah. to, you know, to pull out something. 
but he's not in number nine. He, and you need a number nine. You need somebody who is in that number nine's positions. That money you spent on Kai Havertz, you would have given at Tom Villa. They would have given you all, all the work things. I knew he was good. good. Yeah. You, have no, given, you, you could have given at Tom Villa that money. Definitely. You could have given at Tom Villa that money and bring all the work in and say, I want you to compete for the number nine position with Jesus. And yeah. what you would have is what, what you would have is two strikers who desperately want to play. And yeah, yeah. they would try to impress. And once that happening, it improves the team. But with the you be before you go ahead, eh? it's not the same. Before you go ahead, eh? because I know I, 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 I'm preempting, I know people will come and say, why is why is, oh, you can create that sort of competition in a striking position where you can't do that in I will talk about that, why you can't do that. But also, like, when you, the, the outfield, play, outfield players, you know, number nine, number ten, or whatever other positions on the pitch, you can afford to create that level of competition in their minds because they are on the, on the, on the, on, they are, they are on the position on the field where they are they, are, they cannot they are, they, are, they, are, they are allowed to make mistakes you, you know you are allowed to their are mistakes their mistakes are oh when they make a mistake here you can still if everybody does their job put when it, they make a mistake put here it, you put can it, still cover yeah. for it put it like this put it like this eh? football right so managers always say football is a game of mistakes right others 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 always say football is about scoring goals so if you match those two those two statements together football is a game of mistakes and football is about scoring goals right the mistakes, right, is about scoring goals, right? Yep. The mistake is not to be made by the goalkeeper. Mm. Jonathan. Yeah. It's not to be made by the goalkeeper, right? The mistakes, right, is in between, it's in the, it's in the, it's in the area between the two goalposts. But the goalkeeper, right, cannot be allowed to make mistakes because game is about scoring goals. Do you understand? So, in the end, when you think about it, I, I, I just sorry I took I yank it off you if I there's a reason strikers are very hard to come by, like number nines. If you check, if you look 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 at it, it's not it's not funny. Strike the strikers, the strikers position, right? A guy that can score you goals, right? Is so hard to come by. It is not the most important position in football. I don't believe it is, right? Mm. But it is one of the scarcest talents you can find. A guy that knows yeah. how, when he's throwing goal, score goals, that angle you get, if I kick him like that, that's it. And that's why I was so sad for missing Greenwood. Because you don't find a player like that often, right? A guy that yeah. is just born with an ability that knows where the goal is. There's a story about Alima where there was a Champions League game. He came on his warm-up. He was warming up. Shot, 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 shot. It was like something is wrong with that goal. Mm. Right, and indeed they checked the thing out, and the goal was not was not accurate. Something was wrong. Something was wrong with the goal. No, I'm not. So you don't go enter that place. You don't go. Something is wrong. I've been doing it for this years. Guy, this, this, this guy was giving a goal. I, I think one of the most interesting, um, you know, oh. sit downs was uh, Kevin, Kevin Prince Watson, right? So he was. I was speaking to Ferdinand, right? I said, look, Messi in training. You know, if Messi say when Messi starts missing goals in training, everybody's like, "Ah, are you sick? What's the problem?" What's yeah. going on? <laughs> now, and and it's not it's not about it's not scoring it's not scoring in the corner or scoring past the goalkeeper, right? If the goalkeeper made a save, you get it had to be had to be an extraordinary save. But what Messi yeah. was doing, training top bins. You know, top bins is those ones that they clean, they, they they cover out. This is the yeah. agonizing top bins is those ones that they create an extra this thing. Messi is always like. He's sending it out like yeah. missile, whoop, 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 top beans. So the moment he stops doing that, you know that, ah, are we, uh, 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 stop training, stop it, stop, something is wrong, man down. Yeah. That's the yes, thing sir. about a goal scorer. I hope everything is going on here. Yeah. With an ability to know, I don't believe, you can, obviously your training, your training makes your muscle, you know, used to it. But the goalkeeping position, now to bring it back to goalkeeping position, the goalkeeper, eh, when a person is born to be a goalkeeper, and he now he, he works his way to be number one at the top club, Alison, for example, right? There's a 
the reason your club did not fit to the idea of bringing an goalkeeper to come and challenge, I, I, I listen, the guy was yeah. having mm -hmm. a bad one season or thereabouts. It was just clear, right? It probably, probably had to do with losing his dad. He was having a bad. I was making. There was a start that time, my last season, I mean, two seasons ago. Mistakes need to go. Alex is number one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys. Uh, he was there. Yeah. He was, he was yeah, there. Was there. But last that's season. why I say they, there was no points where Klopp flattered with the idea of bringing somebody else. I'm sure he had a conversation with the guy and told the guy. Something you should I'm, sure, I'm sure he called the guy to his office and told the guy, Alison, I know you're struggling now. I'll keep playing you, but promise me you'll make it right. And I'm, I'm preempting and saying, I'm sure Alison told him, Gaffer, thanks for the confidence in me. So I'm going to go out there with that confidence to play, knowing that a mistake will send my coach thinking, you know. So that confidence he has given me would now allow me to kickstart my own confidence. So when I get my confidence back, I can hand him back his word and say, you know what, Gaffa, thanks for that I time, think, that, that trust. I am back on my game. Do you get it? I think also, right? That's why I that goes right, things. When you look at top teams, when you, when you look at top teams, right? Scouting the goalkeeper is a, is a special job. So they know that they do it. They know that they do it. If you look in time pass, scouting, Look, even uh, we know that football has evolved, it has changed and all that. But you always have those generational teams, those great teams with one ridiculously good goalkeeper alongside them. You know, it, it. it could be, it could be, it could be the goalkeeper was, in fact, there were teams that the goalkeeper was, their goalkeepers were the embodiment of what that team was. And That's you can't build that by creating this kind of situation. When, when, when teams... Yeah, you want to say something? If I, when, I think, when I think about Argentina's World Cup win, right? I am not, I am not lying to you. I'm not trying to banter Messi. I think yeah. about Martinez yep. first. Martinez, man. Martinez. Of course. Like, I think of about it, I see. I see that moment. Every time I think about that win, I think I see that moment Bro. where the guy is big. The guy is like... When, you, know, you, know, you know, when I said... When, 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 when I said... When I said that Messi wasn't Argentina's best player at the World Cup, when I said Messi, I wasn't I wasn't trying to banter IBK. I actually meant it because I felt like there were one or two players in that team who were, you know, they flew under the radar. It was like, but they were so good in that it team. It was like it was like were, the reason Chelsea... that team was like that. Martinez was one of them. There's another guy. What's his name? He plays for Atletico Madrid. I've forgotten his name. One number Rodrigo seven. Rodrigo De Paul. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Rodrigo De Paul. De Paul. In that midfield, who was tireless, running everywhere. My brother. He made that team so good. Those he people, made that team yeah. so good. Those people literally shielded players away so Messi can go. As in the, yeah. you know that, that 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 that's why I talk about it. I say I say Messi in my eye wasn't Argentina's best player at the World Cup because Martinez was Martinez was the, won the World Cup for Argentina because if Colomani yeah. puts that away, if Colomani puts that away, we're not talking about any World Cup. We're talking about Mbappe's second World Cup. Do you know that? See, it, it that's felt what, like it that's was the I same say. thing when it was the same thing when yeah. in 2012 when Chelsea won the Champions League, everybody went crazy about DJ Drogba. Oh my God, my God, Peter Check, Lord have mercy. You that penalty, that penalty that, that, penalty that Drogba gave away, that Check saved. Then even the penalty shootout, and mm -hmm. and then you look at uh, what's his name now, uh, 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 Mikel's performance. In the entire game, yeah, in that final, you know, the, like even in the run, in the run into the final, the semi-finals. What, what? Look, you can't just hold because is this. So, so you go back, you go, you go back to, for example, right, and you think about the big performances of. You mentioned, you know, goalkeepers. Teams, teams have goalkeepers that there's, there's no great team that doesn't have a good, good goalkeeper. I've not, I've not Ooh, seen it. I'm telling you, yeah. and that's why, that's why I say in football, right. People say talk about team sports. I think football is the truest form of team sports, right? Football and maybe the double, the double, the double tennis, the, the tennis doubles. Those yeah. two sports are the truest form of team sports, right? And if notice, I have not put basketball second. You see, basketball or the NBA for whatever it is, right? Is still you can you can highlight an individual. In the yeah, NBA, it, 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 because the way the, the, way rules, is played, the, the, the way the rules are made, eh, the rules are made to favor individuals. 
Do you understand? Yeah. Because, for example, for example, if I'm Steph Curry, like for example, one of the, one of the rules is that the ball must be shot in 30 seconds. Do you understand? Right? And once you cross the half line, you cannot come back. Do you understand? What that means is that, Baba, you don't get over the defender for here. So if I'm in the best attacker in the team, when I don't die for the iron now, you get, you don't get better back me now. You get, go once you don't cross, you don't, I, I don't get used for you again. Do you understand? So once I don't cross, I'm Steph Curry, I'm going. So that's why I say, when people, people always say, people always make that mistake and say, oh, team sports, basketball, you know, football, it's, it's not the same. Football is the truest form of team sports. And it's important that we're having this conversation about, you see how we're intertwining the ballon d'or conversation with the goalkeeping position. And, and and all that stuff. Anyway, speaking of if I touch on the points I wanted to touch on before we leave, I want I want to talk about the Chelsea before we before we before we wrap it up. Um and the, the, the chat was about was talking about confidence, right? And confidence being individual and collective, right? Now just just example before we go before we go. If you watch the United Copenhagen game, right? Holland, Hoyland rather is making a run. Holland is making a run. He's true. He, there's a, I think. I think there's a three v two situation. Making a run. He's a left footed player. Rashford is on his right. They are put Ganacho already, right? The right pass to make, right, would have been to pass to his natural, you know, angle, the right side, which was so he can strike the ball. Rashford, Rashford, Rashford was so he can strike immediately, right? Somebody, the guy sitting beside me, the guy, the guy I don't pay for street tire. The guy said. Hoyland and uh, the players in the team don't trust Rashford to finish it. Mm. They can sense between themselves that that guy is struggling confidence and we don't give him ball. If they play for streets, right? I think it was Moses that was telling me one story one time. Aimba, they go manager, manager make team before final. Then uh, Yemad and look the team. They, they, say, they, coach, they, they say they say coach, no, this, this guy never play. <laughs> they say this one, this guy never play. You know, you know, <laughs> they know you get when push comes to shop. I know, I know, give him ball. Yes, you know, what, you know, what they fix ball. We say when they play ball, then you see pass, you see the easy pass to make that this guy with the year, but you don't trust this guy. Yep, you know, guess that is you're gonna, you're gonna make you, you're gonna make you the try one extra vegan pass. What you're not supposed to try normally. Hmm. Now, I make that point. Happens. That's what happened. That point, if I made about goalkeeper, eh? because I go see the way we say normally you don't press me. I said, just normal, yep. just normal, just give my goalkeeper. I, 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 I was just, yeah. I was just, I was just, I was just throw and give up. Say, about you, hold up. You know, say, you say, you know, you know, you know, you know, but now I'm going to make me, I'm going to, I'm going to turn. They're going to press me. They're going to push me. I'm going to fall. You get it. They're going to make a score. But they're going to blame me. But you know what I'm say? I think Fed, Fed made the same point as well, right? That he was playing with uh, when the first came. <laughs> Him and Village looked at themselves and said, ah, about all of a sudden, what did they have? They what they have they have <laughs> what's happening here? How, how are you going to deal with this kid? You, get, <laughs> you know, all of a sudden. So it's a very important conversation to have, you know. Yeah, anyway, and, and, yeah. you know, you know, you know I, I, I said this, you know, I'm, I'm sure IBK would like this. He likes Pep Guardiola. If there is, when I see young goalkeepers try to play out from the back, you know, try to look very fancy on the ball. That, that is just what, what is it, just they, Spanish goalkeepers? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a goalkeeper, I would say, sit down and watch what he does. And that's Edison. Edison is Edison is the father of all of this trying to play out from the back. Because I'm telling you, Edison man. is the father. Man. Because Edison is a guy that he... You know, he sucks him. You can suck you in and you come very close like you're going to win the ball. And you think he's going to make a pass to Rodri. In the same breath, he pins one pass to Haaland. He just breaks your press. And that's what I see Raya trying to do. They'll press Raya. The pass is not on, sir. Put this ball down the pitch. <laughs> and Raya is trying to be too clever. He did it against Man City. They, they almost scored. <laughs> He did it against Chelsea. He did it yesterday on Tuesday against uh, Sevilla. Because in his head, he's trying to, okay, I can do this thing now. Well, we I can play this thing. Did you want the guy in Did you want the guy in the Did you know that that was down training? 
There's... No, 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 no. IBK, wait. IBK, wait. IBK, wait. No, there, this there is this video I was watching. Said. Hold on, first. Hold on, there's this video I was watching. IBK, it's not about Rufai, training. Rufai, calm down. Rufai, calm down. wait, 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 wait. Make I quickly talk this on wait, I beg. There's this video I was, I was watching. I think Man City's training. And, you know, normally you see players do their own training. You see goalkeepers do their own training. But I saw Ederson, you know, playing this. Is it Rondo, they call it, with other players? I don't know. if This this sort of middleman, like Rondo, I think they have a I name, they call it. Now, middle man, now we understand middle man. Uh, <laughs> a middle man, <laughs> so, so, Rondo, so, a middle man with Abi Amas. You, 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 you can imagine the keeper. I, I, I saw Rondo. that video. Rondo I saw that video yeah, and yeah, it was Rondo. so what hard. Did, what, did, what did Rondo mean? What did Rondo mean? <laughs> now, Spanish name for middle man now. You don't get me <laughs> for your own time. I you think you're no, man. No, 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 no. So in the, 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 the point to say, if, if you see the way, if you see the way Ederson was able to, you know, that thing will teach you how to how to be calm with the ball under pressure. And that's why and I, you, I like I, that guy. You think don't do it. You think Aspar don't do it. Make I tell you. Make I tell you. Now, which I want to 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 tell you. Before that Chelsea Arsenal game, before that Chelsea Arsenal game, there's actually a Chelsea training. Guys, you fight on Hango. You don't Hango. Uh, I think that I mean Hango. I don't feel say ah. I mean, I'm not angry now. I got angry with I don't. Why is why is it like this? <laughs> I found the shake head. Maybe now. Jude Jude Bellingham. I mean, I mean, Madison. When they say when they say buy good food, you know we we'll buy good food. No, you let na call enter. Na call enter. Na the team is okay, called. Na call enter. Na call. In the try. Let Let's progress. That's that's what they say when your blessing won't arrive. Make God only be behind. <laughs> let's let's progress to let's progress to the next convention. Let's go to Chelsea, right? Um come on, if I say Poch is Kuko, I think I think Poch is, is slowly. I is told slowly you guys. <laughs> I told you guys. No, but, but, but just... you know, people, you know, people at the start of the season, you know, I, I said, you know, allow this team, you know, it's just it's it's a new team. The important thing, the best signing, the biggest signing for me, for them this summer was the manager, you know, because you have the manager who has a track record of working with young players, you know, he did that at Southampton, you know, did that with a group of players at Tottenham. I, I said it, you know, allow this guy, it's a new team. If there's anything the guy knows how to do, he's getting the players to perform, you know, he knows how to yeah, get especially players young to players. he knows how to to, to, to get a tune out of the players. And, you know, I was telling somebody last week, the Arsenal game was was the archetype of how Pochettino wants to play, you know, play with an intensity that is so high. You know, they didn't allow Arsenal to breathe at all. You know, I, I said in the group chat, it was the worst performance Arsenal have had this season. And it's, it wasn't it wasn't a discredit to Chelsea, in my opinion. I thought it was credit to Chelsea because Chelsea restricted Arsenal from playing the... You know, the, the usual Odegaard free-flowing football, yeah. we didn't see it because, because of how well they pressed, the inten intensity they played with. They dropped off in the second half, obviously a few tired legs. But that's how he wants to play. And the the minor, the the the, the one thing lacking in that Chelsea team now is the cutting edge in the final third. And that, I feel, in Kunku was brought to provide that cutting edge. He's that guy who finishes off, finishes off chances. And Jackson is not the guy. Sterling, you know, has shown that, very that good brings me to an agent. As agent, go back. No, he's not. He's not an agent. He's not an agent. But he's not. He's not an agent. But he's not a guy you can rely on to give you goals. He is someone. So what's the, who... what's the, so what's the agent coming? <laughs> agent, Almost... agent. You don't tell the best in our agent. I don't know the, if people will. I don't know if people will. I don't know if people will. If sweet. you call me, if I decline your call first time, you don't go calm down. You go to call the call. Uh, calm down now. Now why you hang like, like, like you? Now why, why you hang like when you hang for the special? Why you hang for kidney? No, you say no. You say no picking call. I know all you money. I know all your kidney. I know. If I decline at once, wait first. 
<laughs> you never, you need to change your bio. On air personality. On air personality. <laughs> Mosey, 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 when he just started to work for, for Super Soul that time. So some of them, some of them guys, they know him. They will say, I know him, look at him. They're going to they, they, they watch him. They say, look at him. <laughs> they will carry food, they will call him. <laughs> Oh is my it, god. It, I've never seen any level of phony like that in my life. So as <laughs> <I>, so, <laughs> the call me to make a pick. Make a pick. <laughs> as the they, they have our guy, my guy, I they on there. What is it? I this thing so that so that so that you two go so far. This thing they have my guy, and I This thing they have with me for you. That year for you. We're gonna do sport program for AKBC. You will see phone the ring. Like what who is this motherfucker? Like, is there something wrong with your head? That you are seeing me on television and you are calling me. I will, you know I will come up for the TV, come up for the person like saying, oh, maybe, maybe you won't give me money, you won't give me work. I call and say, how fast? Sorry, I missed your phone. He said, I see you for TV. I say, make I call it. Now, small remark, I go say, make God punish them. <laughs> like, you don't say people, you don't say people don't know the people don't know the idea of a live show. You know, you know, you know, that's the way you know, I think it's based on excitement. I said, look, I call you. I think, I think it's based on excitement. So, make a pick. People, they're excited. People, they're excited. No, a lot of people don't know the, the concept of a live show and a recorded show. It's not, if you know that, oh, see, bro, when no. I, oh, is it, I think it's correct. There are many people who don't know it. There are many people who don't know live show or recorded show. But my the point is, once you see a show on TV, your head should assume that the person is working at that point. So the person <laughs> cannot pick your cause. It is common sense. It's uh, so common you not sense. recorded. So you're not recorded, make I still pick. So you're not recorded, make I still pick. I mean, without making you happy. Uh, just, just, make I just quickly, since when I came on and he was talking about Chelsea, I was going to say that before that Arsenal game, there was a there was a clip from training where Sanchez was doing you know you know when you when you, you know how when when you are training for being able to play so there's a way there's a way that, you know they teach you oh, once your player has, has the ball you take two steps then you open for this person giving an, an option you could see they were making that training now he go that as not as not game still go make pass so it's not about it's not about oh training or no 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 when you see Ederson. You can tell there is something that that brother grew up with by playing on the streets in Brazil. You see, there yeah. was a game. There was a game when we were young that we used to play. Now Miduma, but it was one of the most ruthless form of Miduma, Miduma game. It's just three people. Three people. You have two people standing at opposing ends, and then one person in the middle. So another person will want to play that Miduma. Or people will come late. I remember clearly. People will come late. They go sit down. If nobody there to play, you wait them to. You go play till you collect them from either of the two people. So you can we cannot decide the rules whether I'm collecting. I mean, I touch you. If he touch you, the other person go enter me to. Now, if somebody comes and they want to play, they sit and wait. We will come decide whether we will count to ten or we will count to twenty. If we are able to make 20 passes without you intercepting, the next person comes in, collecting or touching. You see, those things that you do on the streets, and then you now have people who not only did that on the streets, but they played real, real intense, hostile grassroots competitions. For here, for Nigeria, you had competitions where you go see a go Adubo, they sit down by the field, some of them they smoke, then they wait, make they play. So my go Adubo, they will say, see where they like, if they lose, they pick on conk. The player, we, 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 we consider. Make no mistake. You had all these things. So those things build character along with building skill. They build yeah. character. So when you get yeah. into that position, it's not about training there and training there. There's something inside you that you have. You can tell with how Ederson plays. He's the Isabi do that thing well. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's. Uh, <laughs> let's so I mean, I was scared of Chelsea and. So my my, so my 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 thing is my thing is you know if you go look at Chelsea's last three games right which has now brought on this wave of of you know seeming plaudits and you look at their first maybe five games right the obvious thing was that almost these guys are just these guys like 
you know, a lot of people were asking, you know, are they, are these people training? What, what, are, what, what are they doing in training? Right. Mm -hmm. It wasn't clear to see what they were doing, which brings me to, to routines. You get, um, there's something, there's something, there's something that Van Gaal used to say as well. I think Ted Hassel as well is a Dutch thing. Is automatism, you know, um, that thing is, and we've talked about it as well, is regularity, frequency of doing something. So if you watch Chelsea's team now, you know, Kopama is now, a, is, I think is now a constant in the team for over the last couple of games. Abi, Mudrik has played maybe two games, two starts, I think two starts, two starts now. Um, yeah. Like the last three, four games. Last like, like three, four games. So that's yeah, Kopama, Mudrik. Sterling is now starting Sterling. games more, you know, constantly. What that now does automatically is that, you know, players know that the speed of pass, oh, Sterling will call it this pass. Oh, this is not a kind of pass, I'm Sterling. Do you understand? Sterling knows that, oh, you know, this hardest guy, this, 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 this guy is limited on the ball. So if he gets the ball, I cannot make that run. I have to wait and see if he loses it or he doesn't lose it. Do you get Another example is if you are a striker in the team, right, and Gallagher is pressing the number six of the team. Because Gallagher has shown over the last two games, Omar, if I say there's a high chance that when Gallagher presses, most likely he will disorient or he will collect the ball. So I need to hold my position, watch my offside line to wait for the for the for the for the for the pass. Do you understand? To make a you know um, a counter press. So what that means is that you are now understanding the qualities of everybody and that's why it's important to to have a non-injury team jigger and that's something that i told i told somebody like look you know in the end clubs build this incredible double double positions but double 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 but ultimately eh, if four players in the team get injured and these four players are not fringe players if jesus gets injured in the team all the guys get injured Saliba gets injured. Lock close the season and throw it away. Of course. Like for Arsenal now, I have over the last couple of weeks or days realized that Odegaard is Arsenal's key. I'm to telling have a good you. Game. Odegaard is like Odegaard key is to have a good game. Arsenal, that, that Arsenal's yes. that Arsenal's um mesmer, right? That Arsenal's fluency, that fluidity in their game. Odegaard is the key to it. The moment you look at the guard, Saka cannot play. Saka will become Saka will drop one level. He will drop to a normal crossing winger. You understand? Bring the ball in and float it. Saka will cease to be that that intricate. Come and give me, you know, dance around. He ceases to be that. You get Martinelli all all, all of a sudden ceases to be the guy that can just like you know get a pass and is is through one on one goalkeeper that kind of thing. Odegaard, that Odegaard boy. And I said it last season or two seasons ago on the podcast, that Odegaard is the guy that weaves Chelsea's play, I mean, Arsenal's play, right? He's the guy that, like, and you know, if, if you didn't need, you know, home economics for school that year, if you didn't need, you're going to say, that knitting process, it will look as if, it, and, but you see, uh, now you need this thing, it looks like a nice design, but that knitting process, and that's what Odegaard is, he's the one that strings, oh, the entire play. And that's what, when I watch Chelsea now, I can see that, okay, they are beginning to find okay our our modus operandi. We might not have an Odega in our team, but what we have is we have energy, and because of that energy mm -hmm. we have, we don't trust the average positions of which you know oh, yeah. where each player will be. That's why when they make a mistake, like Sanchez made, you can see all of a sudden that the fabric of the team is not is not ready. Do you understand? So when they made that mistake, I, I was, I mean, we're in the group, we're chatting. And I said, Chelsea, they are turning over that play. Because I know that they don't have confidence capital in the bank. Right? Arsenal, on the other hand, their confidence is still there. They're not just having it that good that day. The moment they smell it, or you ignite it, confidence for me is like, it's like gunpowder. You get, it needs a spark. Do you understand? So that spark that Sanchez gave them, the moment I that go, I said it at that, the, if if time day, if time day for the game, we'll be Chelsea for that game. I think I think if time day, if you I add more time, day, Arsenal Arsenal most likely win. And you know one of the reasons, I think obviously because of the confidence situation, but also the mistake Sanchez made was so unfortunate 
that it happened after Pochettino's, a lot of Pochettino's substitutions. So Pochettino had brought on Noni Madweke on the left, which is... That man, tell... what, 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 I'm sorry, just uh, hold it there first. What, what, where, are we, where are we with that boy? That <laughs> when, 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 we we'll see... I think it's been... The people playing over the people playing ahead of him are better than him at this point. So that one is not the so hmm. they brought him on on the left, sorry, which naturally is not where he would come and play at. So there's a limitation there. It was just a case of you know what? Two nil some something minutes, I think it was seven, seven minutes. You're gonna go there do a job on oh Sakadi is the same way we're doing it, come back and help Guela and all that. I think it was more down to, oh, then if we get a chance, obviously going forward. But the system of stifling Arsenal had been relaxed a bit with those substitutions. That system that started with from the beginning of stifling Arsenal had been relaxed a bit. But you know, said in the post, uh, in the post uh, conference that the substitutions were not about, oh, we're going to sit on this 2 0. The substitution was a balance of, okay, we're still good in the game, 2 nil. we can get an additional goal. That was what the substitution was about. So the mistake came after those substitutions had been made. So already, the team was already in that shape. As a matter of fact, the moment even Sanchez, uh, Jackson came into the game, that system from, 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 from the first half was different. Because in the first half, why they were able to stop Arsenal that effectively was... Kopalma, Galaga playing together and dropping into the midfield. So you had extra men in the midfield to stop other guys and relax. The moment you brought on Jackson, that system was relaxed. Oh, 2 nil, we can play and try to get another goal. So I just think that, like you said, with injuries, when you have injuries and they are that much, obviously we talked about it affects the way you train, you know, affects all of those things. And obviously, ultimately affects the team. So in my opinion, like I always, always said, those are new players. New team, it give them a bit of time. If you saw the game, even the games that they lost at the beginning of the season, when the season started, that Sanchez mistake would have been the reason why Chelsea would lose the game. Mm. Because when the season started, they were not taking a lot of their, their chances at all. Now they are not taking a lot of them, they are taking a few. When the season started, they were not taking the chances at all. And then they would not that one that much. after playing a good game and lose the game. So, what is happening is that brick by brick, brick by brick by brick. Confidence, playing better, knowing each other better. I, I, with Porch, two three months with the touch, I, I think I think they, 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 he's done a good job. I mean, I, I mean, I, I hear you. I'll just, I'll just. What I'll say is, I'll hold off on. Um, I'll hold off on. I've, I've seen, I've seen some rave reviews, you know, and I've been here before. I've seen it. I've seen it too many times, right? The 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 important thing for a manager when he joins is to get the team working hard again, right? Yeah. Once teams, once any team that starts working hard, right, it is only a matter of when they will start getting results. Do you get? Yeah. Now the bigger <laughs> test is is there because when players are when players that were not working hard before start working hard, and they start getting results, there is a tendency. To, you, the, my question always is, why did you need to be told to work hard? You get paid tons now, of money. Now, now. Ultimately, what it means is that working hard, by my deduction, is second nature to you. You need to be kicked to work hard. Now, the best players, right, are constantly at it. Jige, they play for themselves first before they play for the team and the manager, right? You know, you watch the overlap podcast, the overlap thing, you know, stick to football. I see Rakin is like Rakin is like, I didn't need person to tell me, I didn't need person to tell me to, to play well. You get, <laughs> you know, you see, you know, guy never tell you that we're playing for Rakin because Rakin will kill you first. You know, <laughs> ne never mind the manager, never mind the manager. So that's that's always my problem. And I think it's the same thing when I watch when I see United now and some of the some of the mediocre players that were in the yep. team are now being relied on. You understand? Because the question is. You guys had a template last season. Clear. Right? Clear templates. And the idea was, oh, you need a striker this year. So we're ready to have a number nine. But now a number nine has come and the boy is good. You have now reverted to, you have, you have fallen back to type. 
what it means is that the players are need need a bit of motivation again, which should not be the case. That's not how successful teams operate. Kevin De Bruyne will not need to be motivated by by Pep Guardiola. Forget what Pep can say. Now, like, now Pep, Ke, now Kevin, they tell Pep, Robert, Shh, you are talking to me. I'm you are, I, talking <laughs> to me. I am going to play. <laughs> I mean, we saw it, we saw think, it live think, on camera. Also you understand? Add, I think also to add, it makes sense. I think also to add, and I think I understand where you're going in the sense that, oh, when you got a team, oh, everybody keeps saying, oh, Pochettino has been doing well because you drew against Arsenal and then you won. I think you have to see where that, how, where that goes, how far. Because there's always you have to see a where it goes, test. how far it goes. There's always a bigger test. And I think that also... What that also brings into play is stages of the stages of building it team. And I think the best coaches absolutely understand that. The Peps, the Joseph's, you know, this, these names, the Sir Alex, fantastic. They understand those they, stages they, of they building know, it They know, they know this thing I'm doing now. Eh? You understand? For the next phase, this player will not cut it for the next phase. Exactly. They know when, you know what? We get player for this position, though, but we need to bring another one in. They know those stages. And we need to send. We need to send this one away. You understand? They very know important. those stages of development very well. They know the player that will cut it for the next big test. They know the ones that won't. So, and that, and that's where you know we talked about it on the show as well, where I said I question Ateta a little bit in the sense that the run you almost had to the title last season. I would expect that this season, the, 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 the transfers that are coming in are supposed to be transfers that immediately make you, it, it gives you, because stages of building, stages of building a team. You've been there three years, you've gone from young players, haven't found their feet, they are just, some of them are just coming in the Premier League. You have gone to, you know what, we're stringing runs together now. These players are very good players. They are stable now, they are comfortable, they have adapted to the league, they've adapted to the club, they've adapted. They can win games. They can play well. You've gone there. You've now also now gone to last season, we can challenge for the title. Next should be, not that we can challenge, because there's a difference between a title winning team and a pretender. You are supposed to go from there to we are actually good enough to win. That's why I question is, is transfers a little bit in the sense that where's the 20-something goal striker? Where is you know, you bring in this goalkeeper thing, this goalkeeper situation now, it's feeling like you are now, you are now less or you are, you, are, you are weaker than you were last season in the goalkeeper position. That's why I question it a bit. So also, these coaches yeah. need to understand stages of building a team. It gets to a point yeah. where you yeah. know, this player, you have done well for us when we're trying to build a stable team. Now, we need killers. You have to know that yeah. very well. Yeah, yeah. next yeah. level. I, 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 I agree. And this is no, you know, the problem I have with some of the players I find now, you know, and he threw a player in and he's working very, very hard, is that with, with players these days, it's either, it's either they're very, very good and they lack the hard work or they work very hard and they're not good technically or they're not, they're they're not, not good. you don't have, they're, they're not football people. It was the problem I you had know, with Gallagher, but, yeah. you know, and it's a far cry from what we had way back, right? So you say, take yeah. a guy like Solomon Kalu, for example, for, for example, right? When Chelsea wanted somebody that was going to, you know, give opposition, you know, worry, razzle, you know, put themselves about, but also trust that this guy is not a slouch, you know. If something comes along, this guy will finish. You get. He's not as he was wasn't as good as Robin or your yeah. your you know. But they knew. That. Or for example, a guy like Maluda, for example, who was a who was a a walk horse. You get. Yes, but don't play. Don't give Maluda space to shoot. He's going to kill you. You understand? So, or like, or like a guy like Pat Jusson, for example, who was a, you know, when Ferguson's, Ferguson wants to go to war, you call yeah. back. But you see, Pat is not a slouch technically. You can, like, he's, he play he's not a very good player. Very, very good, good player. player. You understand? <laughs> but the problem with Pat. players now, you guys like Dalaga, or you guys, I see like Hannibal, for example, you know, they put this kid, he runs. He now wins the ball. Oh, yeah. You, no, you, 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 bless you. you know you know what I think? Exactly. You know, you know, right. The world is on like your like feet. What, like what Boateng like like was, like was, think... like was saying. Like what Boateng was saying in that interview about Messi. Right? Say, oh, you know, we're playing social game weekend. 
the manager is speaking, he's there on his phone. Da, 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 da. And I like the fact that we were fed and chipped in. Say, these young players don't think it do, and it's part. And that's why, you know, we're talking about it that time that let's not make mistake about it. You create a dressing room that has respect for the manager, respect for each other, that want to work hard for each other, and all that, all that, all that. But in reality, there are players that walk into your dressing room by virtue of the talent they have, by virtue of what they have given to that team. You don't treat them the same way as other players. So, yes, it's there are players that physically, God made them as a specimen. Then there is the talent added to that. So when people say, oh, Messi, oh, he was speaking on the phone, the manager was talking. Some of these boys these days, they want to use that and say, you know, but these players don't trade. They, they, they want to work hard and kill us. My brother, my brother, if you were, if you had the opportunity, if you had the insight into what God put in Messi's genes and veins when he was creating him, maybe you'll be humble. Because make no mistake about it, performing on that level consistently like that, it takes, it takes, it takes superhuman level if you don't train, natural superhuman level, and which is another thing I'm going to say. You can say that Messi doesn't train as much as, you know, the normal, the way those guys train. But make no mistake about it. It is almost impossible to perform at that level consistently till this okay. till now without, not without having a particular way that works for you, a regimen that works for you, a discipline level that works for you. It can just be different from another player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering how you got to Messi, but uh, I mean, it's, it's a nice, a nice. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I was, I was using. Um, you know when you said. You know when you said. Yeah. You know when you said. These players nowadays, where they either they either can they either work hard and they are not as talented. Or yeah. they they are very good, they, they don't work hard. You know, some of that's I said, some of these players that, that think they are very good, they look at people like Messi, they look at ah, but he doesn't train this well. Why, why would I my brother, Yeah, I can I can do this like Martial. No, yeah. yeah. so, so, no so, 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 be the same thing. Martial did like, you know, you know, like, like, Messi has the same thing. You get like right <laughs> for example, you know, and I I I, I, I said it I said it last season, right? Um for me. And, and you know, you told me something. You said Ragnik, Ragnik was right. And this is something that we also need to we also need to listen to people that that understand this thing and have done it for a long time. Yeah. Right? And not yeah. and not not make not make them seem like they are they are delusional. Like they don't know they are some saying. weird. They are so that some weird or something like that, right? A guy like Ragnik walks into the play. United fans don't like Ragnik. You don't like you don't want to speak about him. And I understand why. You know, uh, it was like it was. It was a. It was ultimately it was a mismatch, right? But Ragnik being the manager of United was a failure more of the guys on top of him. Yeah. But I'll go back to it. Ragnik said, Look, "This team needs open heart surgery." You get there are players that need to go, right? I personally believe. I personally believe, right, that players like Luke Shaw, Dalo, Rashford, Martial, you know, Lindelof. They they will Agent. no matter how well they play, right? They you just this... have to accept what it is, right? They are they yeah, have yeah, bad experience, yeah. they have too much, they have too much recollection of of the what it means for this club to have happened. You yeah, need to let yeah, them go right. <laughs> to go and experience something else. They say PS you won't buy Rashford for uh 500 million pounds. Please call them back. Tell them to take him away, right? Because let him, not because he's not good enough, but because maybe he just needs to go somewhere else, right? Yeah, yep. and I knew it. I knew, I knew that Lucho would not get to you know, you, you, you know, you know, one thing, uh, you be, I think most of them is, is, is based on a very faulty United foundation, and it, 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 it's very obvious, you know, you come into the team, you know how big the team is, you know, it's a traditional team. You like, I, I can, I can imagine. The, John O'Shea and a lot of even even Fletcher himself. I don't think they were that good, but the fact that they 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 met a very solid foundation, I think they capitalized on it and it helped. Of course, now I, of I like course. you said. I, 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 yeah, I feel Rashford That's isn't is. that bad. I feel this guy, these guys you mentioned they are in that. But the the thing they met at United, they met a struggling United, a team that 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 needed help, and you know, you know they they were able to they were. At some point, they were able to outgrow it. 
But like they say, you cannot leave. How they tell the talk that and say you feel leave this one, but you know feel leave it. You get as a street person, you you might want to leave the street, but the street cannot leave. It's the same thing with Rashford, Linda Love, and the rest. You know, you know I feel I mean? that no matter no matter what they do, no matter what they do, the foundation don't they just say they know they know meet something good. So the best thing is it's to like, bring like, people. Yeah. You know absolutely what I correct. Say, I you are spot absolutely, on. absolutely correct, Idiki. Spot on. You are spot on. Spot on. You see, happy, there are some things in life that are just consistent. People will tell you, oh, when a young man is growing, they need a they need a mentor-like figure. They need, you know, they need all that, they need all that. It speaks to the foundation that we're talking about. You see, you are a young football player, you just signed a bumper contract, even before you signed the contract. I said something on the show way back that when a young player gets into the team. One of the first things the young players want to do is not even to impress the manager. It's to impress the senior players. The players who, because you mm. see, there's something that there's something that it gives a young player that the most important figure in the dressing room, when he wants to get a cup of tea, now you go call. When he wants Excellent. his boots, now you go call. It, I'm telling you, it does a lot yeah. to the mind of yeah. the young player. So the first person they want to impress, now those senior men will really hold the place down. Because make no mistake, that cup of tea when he send you, it not go just happen until they see you say, this boy has a good head on his shoulder. He wants to work hard. He wants to, he wants yeah. to learn. He's so yeah. that, that yeah. essence is growing from there. That essence is growing. So that's the that's why... that a lot of these people have. I agree. I agree, and 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 that's why when you look at Arsenal and Chelsea, right? I make two two examples: Arsenal and Chelsea. Arsenal, right? The reason Arsenal made a a quick jump, a quick jump in their process, was because there was no re there was no residue. There was almost no residue they, of they, any of about everything. You get awesome. now, sorry, now 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 hold that thought right because I'll, I'll explain why that is the case. Now Chelsea have an opportunity as well, right? Yeah. To make a very quick acceleration, right? Because there is also almost no residue you get of that 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 rotten core, yeah. you know. Because yeah. the last one, you know, is a, is a top pro that will see and he will be gone in a year. I can guarantee you that thereabouts. Now, if you go back to the point I made about the Arsenal team, right? The moment they let all the Abamians, Ozil, everything as good as Ozil, 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 Ozil was Ozil still good enough to play in the Arsenal team? Of course he was, right? Of course he was good enough to play. You know, the moment you bring in new players that meets players that have been there and have seen it not work, what happens is. They come in with their talents, their authority, their know-how, and their drive, but they have to they have to almost shrink themselves to not make the other players feel uncomfortable. So look for example, take for example, Casemiro comes to United, right? Comes to United, first season, balls, balls. Duh, 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 duh. Second season, you know, struggling for the struggling at the start. You see, when you bring in players like Ambra Badem, Casemiro, you bring in all this, uh, you bring in maybe the Mr. Mounts, they come. The benchmark of that dressing room, the culture, is still being run by the oldest guys that have been there. Your Rashfords, yeah. yeah. your Luke Shaws, you get your Marshall. Who are already not even the best on the field. Who are already not the best on the field. They have the, and it's, they're, not be, they're not running it because they're the best on the field. They're running it one because first they've been there longest, and culture in dressing room is not about mentality. Sometimes it's about click. Mm -hmm. You understand? Oh, we they hang out together. Now yeah, we they sit yeah, down together. Yeah. Now we they, our yeah. jokes they resonate. It's true, it's true. You understand? You know our jokes they resonate. If you bring we want to bring a maker on the pod, you make a maker early on the pod. You know you could tell we are doing our banter. Maker is a bit, you know, he's he's, he's just on the side a little bit, you know, waiting when you you know kind of thing. So we have to make a deliberate effort to, you know, absorb him in, you know. Now, his talent at that point becomes relevant because before he can even show his talent, he has to be comfortable, that yeah. kind of thing. 
So you see why the point I'm making, why you know Arsenal accelerated their process. Yeah. Because they weeded out everybody. So the new guys they were signing came in and didn't have to measure their mentality. They didn't have to benchmark it against anything in the dressing room. So yeah. the Clarence comes in you from the new Ham, tone. You set, set how you tone. want it to be, and everybody you know, must follow it. Everybody must follow it. The Clarence comes in from, from West Ham, you know, and the best uh, West Ham captain come in. Other guy comes in as Norway captain, you know. This guy, Sakai, Sakai, Sakai was already playing well as a kid. So it's yeah. like, oh, they're bosses of captains here. Do you understand? Martinelli comes in, you know, sees, you bring in, uh, you bring in Pate, you bring in all these guys, and they don't have to think about, oh, you know, whatever it is. So that's why I believe, personally, and I think about it for the last couple of days, that's why Arsenal made a jump. We yeah. united. I have made a, I've come to a summary. Down till, until United without all of those players. I'm telling you. You will always have this, you will always have this falls done. This falls done. Go back to the point I made about Chelsea. When you have to kickstart players to work hard at the top club, that is the first indicator yeah. eh, that something is a cycle. They'll come so, so, around again. Lovely. So, just to add, just to add, it, it, very solid point. So, 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 sorry, 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 That's why, personally, I won't fight and hard. I've been very frustrated, but when you're calmer, after the games, you can stop back and look at it. That's why I will fire him because we've been here too many times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, yeah. I was also, I was also <clears throat> the solution with Jose Mourinho. And Mourinho is my idol, right? I was looking at it. I was like, this is this is an it's an aberration. What am I looking at? Did you get? But over time, the experience must come for something. You must watch and say, no, no, no. Let's hold on. Let's not do that again. Yeah, the money has done the problem. Yeah. Okay. So these so, guys are and, 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 and so United are there. To and, and, and United have been here so many, that, many, that, many, that many that times. Again. I remember when when they fired Mourinho. It was 2018. My younger brother is a Man United fan, and I told him, I said, you won't go close to winning the title in another 10 years, and he laughed. That was 2018. This is 2023. United are still nowhere near close. There's the Arsenal have come. Liverpool have won the title. Arsenal have come close. And United, and you know, you know, you know, you hear fans say, get the manager out, get the manager out. I'm like, they haven't learned anything. You know, they, they still do the same thing. You know, fire the manager, get the manager out, fire the manager. Oh, the, it's the manager's fault, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You're supposed to motivate the player, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, people, I, I look at Ateta and, you know, sometimes I think, I tell people, I think he's a good manager. You know, he's worked under Pep and all of that. He's not the best manager in the world. You know, you know, he's worked under Pep. I'm sure he's learned a thing or two with Pep. He's got his own identity. I think sometimes he tries to do too much. But the one thing that people do not talk about is the board at Arsenal. They gave Ateta more than he deserved. Yeah. You know, there was a <laughs> yeah. time that, there was a time that most clubs, you know, a Chelsea, a Man United, would have pulled the trigger. Did they? Did they? they would have pulled the trigger. You didn't want you know? you did, you did, you did, you did Under Abraham, I thought I could not forget saying go Chelsea. You know, they, they would have pulled the trigger. But now, all of a sudden, the guy looks like, you know, the board now look back and like, we made the right choice. You know, we kept the Thank guy. Thank God. And I so, know when you keep a manager for, for that long, and he's used to the house. Everybody comes into the house, and this is the guy here. This yep. guy has the trust of the, the board. So it's either you play the way he wants you to play, or you get the fuck out of the football club. Now, when players realize, when players realize that this manager is here for the long term, and that's something people don't know. When players realize that this manager is here for the long term, they are forced, whether they like it or not. They are forced to play well. Is that yeah, two, two things? They are forced to do two, two, two things. Is here in the long haul. Players now realize that they have to perform, or the manager yeah. will get them out of the team. That's what I'm and saying. That's what that's two things. to realize. Don't do this thing again. Oh, fire the manager. Get the manager out of the club. You get the manager out. You bring another one. First few matches, excitement, blah blah blah, and we'll go back to where we eat. It's a trend. Yeah. We know this. You know, just to add to just to add to what you was saying, 
it, you know, there's a difference between the board can give you all you need and you are just you are just not good enough. Yeah. But we can't sit here and say that the United setup up there has been anything close to ideal for a, for, 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 for a manager. It hasn't mm -hmm. been. Because, you know, you look at the football, you know, set up, what you want to do, your, your scouting has, is on point, you know, with the manager, with the players that you bring in. Because, you, especially these days, maybe back in the day, maybe you could win it. But these days, you can't afford to, you have to trust a process that you decide to start. Because, I, I mean, I'm of the opinion that there's never only one way to do something. So, mm -hmm. if you decide that this is the way you want to go, okay, you brought, you brought in Ten Hag. There has to be, oh, this is how we're going in the next 18, 12 months. This, 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 this players. We're bringing in this, 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 this type of players. Backed up with whatever form or whatever way of scouting you want to use. Because you already know that, Omo, we don't change manager, change manager, you know what? Now, we need to build, we need to reset. We need to build a new culture. Because you people were talking about affording yourself the opportunity to make that quick job. In this day and age, most likely the only way, except if, you're, except if you have a, a dressing room already that has one or two figures that you know that they don't take mediocrity from anybody in the team. And there are very few teams that have that now. I don't even think anyone, I don't even think anyone have got it right now. One, two, three figures that you know that whether they are playing well, they themselves are playing well or they are playing badly, they don't take mediocrity from anybody. If you Man have City. those kind of figures... Man City have got really, it. Man City, Man, City. Uh -huh. Man City. If you have those kind of figures, then maybe you can say, okay, we don't need to completely reset. But what you need to do, in you have to completely weed everybody out. Now, with those figures that you might have, because now you now need to create a new set of those figures with the new setup that you create. If you had those kind of, for example, with City, you be mentioned it earlier. City can have a run of five games and they don't win. They're not doing well. All it would take is for Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, maybe even like John Stones now. You know, these what? players. Can you call out? everybody into a meeting. There's not a single player on that team. There's not a single player on that team that Kevin De Bruyne will call a team with a meeting with now and will say, I have it. Are you mad? You know, <laughs> you call it a meeting and say, look, and, 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 and just to think, but I remember somebody who was Maluda. Yeah, it was Maluda. Maluda said something about that 2012 Champions League that they won. That on the outside, the team wasn't strong. You had players that were already on their way out. They were old. He said, but on the inside, they were looking at themselves and they were thinking, we're running out of chance to win this very important title. This probably is our last chance. We've got quality, old players, but very experienced players. He said they literally had a meeting with JT, Drogba, all the senior players. He called everybody in a meeting and told everybody, the moment we walk out of this meeting, everybody drops their ego to the side. And it is the team, and everybody walks to the success of the team. And it was evident, Maluda said, in the final, he was injured, and he was, he was beginning to recover. Wasn't he really fit? Normally, everybody wants to play in the Champions League final. You will see players that will tell you, Omo, I don't fit well, well, but with the one or two injections, I will play. Maluda said, he told the Mathieu that I, I can manage, but I'm not 100%. Play where I'm better and instead. Play another player. I will see. And that was why Bertrand became the youngest player to ever start the Champions League. That came from the entire team coming together and saying, we don't care who you are. We don't care what the it's manager is you. We don't care. But you see this season, you, know, you see this goal where we, where we want to achieve. Every single person must fall in line. It's not about you. It's not about whether you play or not. Every single person must fall in line. So, so fantastic. Brilliant stuff. And we'll... We'll soon, we'll soon wrap it up, right? I'll give you the last, uh, the, 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 this is my last bit of take on this. So, Amrabat, so when, when a manager brings players into a team, right? When a manager brings new players into a team, you know, like when Ateta brought in all the guard, always watch the way the, the, the players speak about the manager, right? The players speak about the manager as if they're the best in the world. 
Yeah. Now <laughs> that is down to that is down to the manager has wooed them, has courted them, has sold them his idea, and you know, they, 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 they. So of them coming they knowing that this guy, he was like, oh, together before, coming knowing that this guy I trust completely, his method yeah. will work. Yeah, yeah. The difference with a, a structure like United, for example, is Tenag goes in there, right? Brings him Amrabah. Amrabah said, you know, he's one of the best in the world, you know, improved as a player, brings him mounts, brings him Casemiro, right? These guys think that this guy, what he told me, right? And I accepted to do what he has told me and it will work. They believe him. What do you think goes on in a player like Rashford's mind? Or a player like Harry Maguire's mind? That I already brought this new guy. Let's see what, if he's doing, will work. Now, they might want to try, yeah. but you see, there is a difference in their belief system. Jige. So the, the first sign of doubt, the first sign of a rock, a, a bumpy road, they will say, I, I didn't really think it was that good anyway. You understand? <laughs> it's not me. It's, 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 not, it's not me. Is the manager exactly right? Exactly. And they know, and they know the manager would always go. Yeah, the manager would always, always go. go. You understand? With Amrabat, he, his mind is set. Like this guy taught me how to play football. You know, I, you can't go wrong. You know, it, can, it has to be me. So I have to work harder. They if, play. He, so he, he, he played on that ten half before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. He did. Yeah, you get uh, at Utrecht. Oh, you know, he did. Yeah, Utrecht. You know. Utrecht, Utrecht. Oh. I be, I be, I be Utrecht. I be, I be in a last kingdom. I be Utrecht. I be Utrecht. This thing. Utrecht. Anyway, <laughs> so, 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 so you see, you see, so that's Over the difference. Five, sure a, 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 a guy like my, a, a, a guy like Luke Shaw, for example, who knew that when this guy came in, he brought Malaysia to start. You understand? So I'm only playing because so he still has a reservation about the manager, right? Or a guy like. Maybe 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 one Bissaka or a guy like Jalo. So they are they are not const they are not completely yeah. tuned into the guy. In the Arsenal team right now, tell me one player, one player, just give me one that is not Atetas, that Ateta has not told him of you get this team, eh? And the one and the reason that you have a contract here. Not the uh, you be you be no vex, no vex. When 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 Pep started building his defense back at City, I can remember when he bought. Uh, no no no, it was a buyer. When he bought this, uh, was it Moroccan? I can't remember this guy's name. That little uh, played for the Juventus. Mazar 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 no no Mazari. Um no no no, no, no guy's name. Um, I know I know the guy I know the guy I know the guy I know the guy. guy. Benasia 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 Benasia. Like like Sina Sina Benasia. Benasia Benasia. Benatia. The guy said it now that Pep told him when he brought him to Bayern. Say, look, you are not here because you know how to play football. <laughs> hey, that's, that's you it. are not. You see that accountability Sorry, system. Professional football players need it too much. They earn a lot of money. Big egos. He said, you are not here because you sabi play. You are the best center back in the world. He said, you are here yeah. only yeah. because I decided to bring you. You will do hmm. me as I say only. As I say. <laughs> let me give you, let, 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 let me give you an example, right? Have you seen his Latin Pierce Morgan interview? Right. Clearly, I never watched the that. First, I've, I've the, 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 oh, it is the best thing you will watch in a while, right? <laughs> the first the, uh, the first sign of you know a little and no, look and I'm I'm in this to in this story I am on Latin side, but right, but I'll give you a, uh, just because I want to analyze this dispassionately, I'll give an example. At the first sign of trouble, right? Zlatan knew that you are not the reason I came here. The bosses brought me here. Yes. Right. You you might have you might have signed up on it. You might right? have signed up on it. But your guys are the reason I can't. You understand? So I can go and cry to them, and I can boycott you in the process. Tell me, at Man City, one player that is in that team that. Knows that if they fall out with Pep, or they don't do what Pep says you should do, they can go to uh, to uh, what's his name, Soriano Abi. What's his name? I uh, take the Begistan. Uh, the uh, And as you just enter the office like this, you know, just hold and say, "Hold, oh, let me call Pep first. I bet I don't want that problem." <laughs> as you just open the door, say, "Say, say, say uh, sir, can I see you?" He will say, "Please call me." As you talk, you don't take, you don't dial Pep, you don't put Pep on speed dial, you don't press the number dial him. 
Pegula arrive. At United, can you tell me that if so, <laughs> look for example now, they have their afraid to drop Rashford. I am telling you, watch the games. You know, you know, you know, I was watching, I was watching the, 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 Chelsea, the Chelsea game, the Chelsea game and the Sevilla game. I was like, ah, other guy is not playing well today. I know, I don't know if Ateta, you know, honestly, I just feel like the guy watches the game the way a fan watches a game. You know, he sees the game from the eye of a fan. Where does he invoke Avat? <laughs> no, no, even Avat. If Avat is playing badly, I remember the game against uh, Fulham. No, Avat gave the team. ball away. <laughs> Avat gave, gave Avat a ball. Avat needed to turn and face the opponent, and he passed the ball back. Two minutes later, Ateta took him off. He said, we needed to, <laughs> we needed to protect him. Now, <laughs> Ateta takes up on the guard and Saka, all these guys, easily out of games when they are not performing. But with Ten Hag, you know, I'm watching my game. I'm like, what is Rashford doing on this? Rashford's up to this don't bend, see. Brother, brother, what is Ten Hag Rashford removed doing Casimiro. On Ten Hag took out Casimiro. And you know what he said in the press conference? I can bet you that thing you have not heard it until now. I'm the one I'm going to tell you. But if you have said it about Rashford, eh, it would have been a big story that would have shook the whole club. Do you know what Ten Hag said? Right? Um, it was the game against. The last game of Sheffield, right? He took out Casimiro. No, no, not, not Sheffield. The game for the international not break. Sheffield. Took, took out Brentford, Casimiro. Brentford, right? Brentford. Do you know? Do you know? What, do, you, do you know what he said? He said, "I wanted more football." Omo, if I have a for true, true, big story. Wow. Do you know? Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Five times Champions League winner. You get, uh, this guy made a mistake. Um, Casimiro, you know. Casimiro dropped the ball. There was a foul. Instead of him to wait for the team to get back in position, he tried to pass the ball, the counter press, and scored immediately. When Ten Hag took him out, he said, half time, yanked him off. He said, I want more football. Right? Do you know why he has the authority over him? Because let me bring you calm. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, if I, if I, if I, if anybody, if anybody, they, I mean, I follow you talk. You understand? If anybody follow you talk, now me, if you follow you talk. You understand? That's what it meant, right? And we won that game because Ericsson changed the game, right? Ericsson changed the game. Now, I've seen games this season where we say it is clear to the blind that, you know, you need to bring this guy off at halftime. There's no two ways about it. You have to yank him off. You get it. But he will only bring Rashford off when it is, you know, there's a sub, there's, there's, a, there's a sub you make when it is, uh, it is not impactful again. Mm. You will bring us. You, you call them for eighty-five minutes. You call them for eighty minutes. What is what 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 what, what kind of sub is that? <laughs> yeah. What kind, what, what, what kind of fear. sub is that? You got the, 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 the guy they fear. You they fear. They fear again, <laughs> again, again. Let's not forget. He doesn't have. You can you, there's, no, there's only so much fight you can fight. You don't first fight the uh, the uh, Cristiano Ronaldo fight. You yeah. Know? The the gear fight, you know. There's some fights that the board must take on for you alone. You understand? Yeah. And the way it is going, he doesn't trust the board have already with the missing Greenwood situation. That was the first sign to Ten Hag that this board are not resolute with their word. You mm. understand? They are not they, they won't do what they say they would do. Because, because because I hear I hear he wanted Mason Greenwood back in the team. Of yeah, course. I, 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 no, Who I, I hear he was told. Well, the I, 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 I hear he was told. I hear he was told to plan with Greenwood in the team. Wow. The ball went ahead. The ball went ahead to release a season list with Greenwood in the team. Right. Only to after the season don't start. Come come on the boy for the team. Now, if you're a manager, right, and you want to take on another fight with a player, will you will you will you be will you be sure that that ball will, will, will back you up? Yeah, you that, will be that's, that's, that, you that, that, that's that's a strong that that's that's an indication that clearly I'm the board. You. I mean, it's almost impossible then, to succeed with that kind of board. Yeah, yeah. Then 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 look at the entire situation around ownership. They say Radcliffe will buy the sporting arm, so. 
All the confidence he had with <laughs> getting Ampo, hired him. Coat, coat of arms, Lee. Right? Yeah. <laughs> already, already he's thinking, I don't know what it's going to be like. Because in the end, Baba, in the end, bro, I can come and meet you in a, in a, in a, in a job. Once I buy company, you feel be good. Like, we say, I feel no like your face, Baba. Get the fuck out of my company. Let me get out. Get out. Do you get? Mm. That one eh, is my prerogative. You feel me, Pep Guardiola, but it's my right to pursue you if I want. Let me buy the toy, I spend mm -hmm. my money. So in all of that hard trying to happen around him, tell me how the manager will get confidence to make some bold calls yeah. when the team is struggling. See, 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 it's, see, it's, it's, see, it's, it's, see, 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 imagine, and I'm looking at United, which is kind of weird. And you know we all talk about you that oh, about that United is it is is a completely different club from every different other club. club. As a matter of fact, useless club. As a matter of fact, a completely different club from majority of the clubs in Europe. Why? When you look at everything, look at the domination. For example, City have had over the Premier League. There's a template there for you to see. There's a reason. The reason they've done, they've been able to do that, is not because they've gone and only, only because they've gone and bought the best players. No, mm -hmm. first they decided. I mean, I just spent. I mean, they not spend more money than Masti. You know, they decided this manager we will be bringing. We believe he's the best. We're going to give him everything he needs to work. Number one, mm -hmm. giving him everything he needs to work also then means before Pep came, they brought the guy from Barcelona that works best with him. Okay, scout players, bring players. Oh, this is how it's sporting, whatever, sporting, whatever. It is impossible for a coach or a manager to work at a club that big without having a clear direction of if we have this problem in this team, this is not a person for board where I go call. Oh, we have a player for whatever, or we need a player for this is not where I go call. Uh, this player was doing one interview and then we didn't, this is not where I go call. There's a clear way of, oh, this is not the sporting person. This is the chairman. This is the recruitment. <laughs> so that way, everybody is working with a clear goal in, in mind. Look, you look at Arsenal, which was why when they brought in Ateta, uh, Harvard, I said, well, I don't see how it makes sense. But because there's an entire board working in sync, make we see. It'd be like, say, get with it and see where we don't see. Because <laughs> and, 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 and they can have it wrong. And people get things wrong. It's fine. They can have it wrong. But it's but the average what? that counts. The average is what matters. They can have it wrong also because they've earned it. They've done a lot that they've gotten right by working that way. So when you bring a manager to a club like United, and it is funny that United as a football club needs that well-oiled structure more than any other club because they are the biggest team in England. The club can swallow literally anybody. So they need that well-oiled structure more than anybody. And it's funny that so they are the about, ones who don't have it. When you, when, you, when you talk about a manager calling this guy and saying, I need to a player, I need this thing. What do you think about this, right? Sometimes even the best of, even the best people, best of us, are talented as you can be, right? In any walk of life sometimes you are sometimes you are clouded sometimes you can't see it you understand yeah. sometimes you can't see it yeah. the best people you know pep always says that um that his assistant you know the guy is older way older than him that that's the assistant guy you know the very experienced guy that guy yeah, is, yeah. That, that guy is actually more anim animated than pep don't be say as a manager you have to control your bench he's very very you look very he looks very eccentric Sometimes Pep is like, man, I can't see it, man. You go see I'm good. You see that new Castro assistant. Yeah, that new Castro assistant coach. Yeah, that, that, that one don't oh, get sense. You know. <laughs> so, 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 what that thing does? Uh, you have a sporting director like Tixis. Pick up the phone and call him. And say, man, this Joe Cancelo guy. Me and Andor, me and Andor. I think we are reaching. Yeah, we didn't find yeah, a solution. Get, you get. You know what sporting directors do? And for the want of sounding, you know, sounding cheesy, see that sporting in your name eh, means that they are thinking about the football results first. Is the first thing on their yeah. mind first, first, first. Football, the, football. The, the PR, the PR damage and the blowback is secondary to them. Another person, I so, get that work. Somebody, somebody, 
when I do my own first, you hey, you will handle damage crisis, damage oh, control, damage control, you could do your own. My own is to find this guy, this manager, the best tool to get that job done. So he says he has come to the end of the road with this player. I I, I support him. What happened? That's that's, that's, that's the end. You get. We need yeah. to get him out. Yeah. So already you have an ally. You get your immediate line manager and an ally. You and I'm not going to war. When you when you enter the board meeting with you say you and sporting director don't agree. You know, exactly. I don't why, 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 I don't why, why, I'm saying why why Fred you like why Fred you like David Gill that year. Yeah. Uh, that year now 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 na, na, na double man team. You get what they call Glazer. Okay, we will come out to say we will just come out. You know, yeah, like, 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 uh, we always come out. It's as simple as that. You know, you already you don't already you don't already reload you already. No, look at the Chelsea situation with the goalkeeper. Many years back, when Chelsea had the problem with, you know, they did find goalkeeper. I went to Kotoa left, it became a shit show. Right? They bring this one, they do that one, do that one. Until Peter Check came in and said, Look, you guys, listen to me. Yep. Right. I'm gonna go and bring a goalkeeper. Right, and you can leave it go to the go to sleep. Yeah, when you brought in Mendy, that's the end of the story. We all know mm -hmm. the rest of the history. One Champions League, you know. The moment that check come out again, while I start again, yes, now, <laughs> yes, while <laughs> <laughs> <Voila. laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, when you over that, you can't get one in your own just got out. What's that? I'm gonna bring up, 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 so you see, <laughs> even in the jokes, even in the jokes, eh, we they make the sense. You yes, know, sir. You, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, is there is there is there is ample evidence to show. So these problems, I look at say, uh, United fans, I don't that right now. Eh, if I go, if I, because you know we're too neck deep in this, we have to watch the games. Is our is our pastime. We have to watch the games. But bro, <laughs> oh god, you see, you see, that you see that in, United fans. This is not end. I, I don't. I know we've gone on and on and on and on. You see another thing. Oh, um, I remember. I remember back then. I remember back then. You bring in a manager like when them John Terry said, the moment Mourinho came in, Mourinho had leverage in the bank. A young guy just won the Champions League. Played the brand of football that probably Europe could couldn't handle that season. And he's coming to a team like Chelsea. No be United. No be Liverpool, no be Arsenal at the time. It was coming to Chelsea, who haven't won the Premier League in forever. They won the FA Cup here, the Super Cup here, got to the quarterfinals, Champions League. They just, you know, here and there. Not a big club, so to say. And then you bring in a Mourinho, they had leverage in the back. The moment he came in, this is how we're going to go. Even though the players were oblivious or they were they didn't they they, they, they they were not used to that process of work yeah but this is a yeah. guy that had leverage in the bank just won the champions league by beating the best of the best he knows one or two things about what we don't know we we never win anything let's listen you understand you understand the other part is that when you you take everybody out of when you bring in a manager to a club like united right united a massive club Part of being able to create that thing for him to be able to work, right, is that when the player goes into the on the training pitch, like when Poch came to Chelsea, they said the first when a new player comes in, the first level of preseason, they call it the there's a name for it, something test. That's what Poch does. They call it the guard something test. The players just run. There's a particular number of laps that they run, and Chewell said. When they ran those laps, completed it, Poch now said, if you can add, if you can add a few more laps and get to so so number again, I'll take the entire team out for dinner. What I'm saying is that because you did an open heart surgery, majority of the team, you clear them out. The ones that were in tune with, oh, we love this club, we want to be here, we want to see the next thing that's going to happen that you left in the team. When you bring in a new manager, everybody was in line with the manager. When you bring in a guy like Ten Hag into United, sometimes he comes in, he says, you know what, this is the kind of football I want to play, so this is how we train to achieve that kind of football. You can have people like Maguire yeah. looking at him and thinking, my brother, uh, yeah, why are you running for nothing? What is all this? Yeah, for nothing. You have, uh, yes, you, sir. Of course. You can. You can. 
You know, I I just so I think we've frozen a, a bit. But I was just gonna say, uh, and before we do prediction and get out get out of the place, Portocoglu, for example, right? Postcoglu. Do you think he's a surprise that Postcoglu has gone into Tottenham and Hoiberg is not playing anymore? Mm. Norris is not playing. The, Eric Dyer is not playing. Eric Dyer is not playing. Sanchez is Sanchez sold. Sanchez is so sold. You get, you get. You know, that Ben Davis does not start for them. It's Udogi that starts. Now, now what that means eh, is that the guy is not trying to, you see, you go mechanic plays, they try, they try to use old parts, you know, use a super glue, use small sand. No, he's ripping off the band aid. Yeah. Okay. So people say, oh, you see, that's another thing, speeding up the process, speeding up the process. You can do it in two ways. You can you can fuck around and find out which is what United are trying to do, right? Or you can rip off the band aid. <laughs> Post the cold glue, I've seen him being compared to Ten Hag, but what people don't realize is that he has gone in there, the most experienced player in the team, Loris, not playing. Out. Right? Udogi, Udogi, Udogi in. Hurricane out, right? So the people that control the temperature of the dressing room are not there. So he's working on a he's working on a canvas, a fresh canvas. Even more so fundamentally, he's not Baba, the same Hoiberg team. Is play. My brother, even even more so fundamentally, <laughs> Eric Dyer, not the you same don't team. You don't That's talk, a sports you don't team talk, that has not won anything. You don't talk with the England international. They are not, they are not won anything. Play. Dyer has not been, Dyer has not been in, I'm not sure Dyer has made any match this squad. You, you he, he, made, he made two matches squads. Two matches squads. I didn't come on. I didn't come on. Eric Dyer. Dyer. So, 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 what, what, so, what, what does that tell you? What that tells you, what that tells you is that, you know, we used to go with analyze so, eh? it's not, um, it's not, it's not, um, it's not a spoil the moment analysis. If you look at it, again, you know, we don't talk like, nobody, everybody, God, call for this thing, but, <laughs> across the board. Nobody, everybody, God, call my brother. Nobody, everybody, God, call my brother. Across, nobody, call my brother. <laughs> at all, at all, at all. No way, man, no way, man. Anyway, let's, let's move on, let's move on. A classico this weekend. Um, I I think that um you know this the Bellingham kid man. Yeah. I think Bellingham will rip that place apart. But if there's any credit I'll give I'll give Xavi, is that for a guy who was um who was famed for you know attacking. I keep saying I keep saying it. I keep saying it. You can you can. You can lie all you want. You can say, oh, football is, you know, the best football minds, the best football brains always know that to win a football game, right, the defense is the most important thing. That's the biggest credit I can give to Xavi. My brother, but, my just, brother, just, when John... They don't score brother, against Xavi's team, so. My brother, when John Bumacho, when John Bumacho, <laughs> all these cho 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 na they talk, tiki-taka, tiki-taka. You don't say hey, we all hey, Frank, Frank Lampard. <laughs> Frank yeah, Lampard, Frank Lampard. Lampard. Gerard. you don't say we don't talk about this show. He, 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 I, hear that, I, hear that, I hear that. I hear that. Gerard when you want to play a, a specific Arabia. brand of football, when you want to play a specific brand of football, who be the players where you get way one player? One of the best yeah. players that Barcelona have in midfield is currently out injured. Pedri, fantastic mm. footballer, but you won't play Tiki Taka. They go beat. The guy don't call the team. <laughs> you, don't, you don't call the. You don't, you don't call the entire team. You say look. I'm not even. I'm not even. But I've seen that uh, you know, watching the ball 2008-09. You don't have yeah. the talent. Don't be stupid. What don't I see, you have. You can run. Don't be stupid. Don't don't be stupid. Like you can run. Are you mad? You have energy. You can run. So <laughs> you will run. Bro, you you will not though. try. Sergio Busquets. Uh -huh. Sergio Busquets. You are not Sergio Busquets. They say you know they talk about press resistant, yeah. press resistant player, press resistant player. Sergio but, Busquets. Heaven when they fall, you go pass them. The way you go pass them. Eh, Baba, what's the concern and concern? Say, say, who they run for sure. Eh. You know, see Zabi Alonso for training for Bayern. You know, he's training clips. And eh, the pass ball. The <laughs> see, 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 see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. They say that training. How are you in the train? Is he still playing football? Is he, is he, is he a professional footballer? Yeah, exactly. Is he still playing football? My brother, is he, he playing football? Did he did he did he did If he did 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 they say, they say, Now look at, look at, look at, look at what they say for Belgium team, for Belgium team, right? When Henry begin one for them play, 
They go for sure. I'll say, Baba, you they go. Harry is in play. Harry is in play for Jean football. Uh-uh. You don't see yeah, why you don't see they bring it up calm now. They bring it up calm now. See how much. Friendly match. Would I give it a play? That charity game. I don't say I bet. Make sure you this man. I bet. Can you make this man for this place? Take this man for this place. Who's this man in the first place? You know, I was watching this Bobby Charlton thing. They say he was 60 or thereabouts. If they follow the court training, if they court training, he will wear beep. Uh-uh. You haven't seen, you haven't, you haven't seen the videos? No, no, no. no. Great Bobby Charlton. Something. And Ferdinand, they talk and say, Ingo, Ferdinand, talk and say, Ingo, do some moves for training. Eh? You go and say, man, this guy, Sabi, this bolo, don't play around understand? because, don't play around. So, that's the best thing I give Javi. When I see Javi's team, the guy's team is hard to score against. Baba, the Very Haram, solid. Haram, Haram if you're going to if you're going to bet on Barcelona, eh? If you didn't watch the match, watch the match, watch the match. I know they when I refresh Barcelona scores, you know, if I want to beat Barcelona, right? And they look the other team if they don't concede. I know they look Barcelona. They, they will not concede like that. Haram football. If Barcelona concede, haram football. Haram, haram football. If you don't sky one La Masia picking say, Baba, you just go and run around there. He doesn't care who he's playing against. Haram football. <laughs> Haram they football. They are happy. They are not happy. You know, no, it's but sweet. It's I became no. it's sweet. No, I'm not even going to deny mm. this one. I am enjoying it. Mm. Because I remember ba Barcelona fans, which will not take everybody I see for this euro. Barcelona fans. Yeah. My they God. say they say he must uh, say sticky taka. That's oh, why he won't play. But why, why is you know that Barcelona. Barcelona he chose to play tiki taka no day. Both their their players. And their fans single-handedly gave Mourinho enemy of football. Tag. Yes, now. <laughs> it's no be negative. No be negative football. Negative football. Mourinho. Mourinho. There's an American. No, no, there's an American. There's an American. He's having no see mates. He's a company. He knows the guy. There's an American. Mourinho go come. No, go carry. He said he put Cordoba, Matarazzi, all of them. They play from center. He told go run, kick ball, come on, stop from center. <laughs> you know, we go forward. <laughs> <laughs> then the kick ball, he told go collect ball from midfield. Put them for front, then stand from the center and that same place. See? Bring the ball come. <laughs> Joseph, yeah, that match was, you. That, match was the worst. You that game was the worst game devil. where I don't watch my life. Is. That thing is really close to me. Mourinho don't say, this match, na 90 minutes, this Tiki Taka won't na one play. No problem. Ah. We will go kick out give that. But if you give us one chance to score, all this Eto Milito, them, they go score up. So no worry. We they don't really uh, uh, drag anything. Uh, no, no, no. Is, Allah, that, 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 is it that match or come no? Is it that match or come no? Barcelona will play another three days. They, know, they will score that second goal. That <laughs> time, match. the way Inter Milan play, uh, they show up one time like that. Yeah, the, the guy can carry to go right back. The way Inter Milan play, in Inter Milan they collect ball. If Barcelona attack, Inter Milan will collect ball. It will go collect ball. This thing why I talk no be joko. It will go collect the ball. Then he stand from that place where he collect ball. He stand there. Where are they? Where can I come again? He said, bring him. <laughs> <laughs> They finish, that, they finish, finish that, my money that, will run, run for Camlo. They finish my money will run for Camlo, like say they don't win Champions League. <laughs> that beauty from the back. I won't give you a build and come again. Maybe that build up is not a problem. Maybe that build up. Just say. Oh, oh. You mean that way they play? You mean that play game? Where you play game? You know, say, if you play against person, they, when they're very, very good, you will play with one point. You will say, you know, say, ah, this attack I get, I must kick shot, sir. You don't feel you don't I you don't feel win the ball from your hands, Because huh? if you win that ball from your hands, <laughs> you must think you 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 go you will not kick him. So some people say you can say ah if I pass him again, he is not saying that if if he pass him again, then press the ball collector. So I say to the dude, you don't know you don't know you don't know. Adriano and Ibrahimovic for for PlayStation One, my God, <laughs> I don't I don't can give him. That's it. For Inter, that yeah. That's it. That's it. Who gonna win is a classical? Who's gonna win? I, Honestly, I, I give... where, where, where's the game? Where's the game? Barcelona home. That whatever they call that. What's that home? Nah. I mean, what's the name of that place? Over nine point five corners. First, first. 
put that in the in, in the investment. So, corner kick they play now. Ah, my brother, Barcelona and corner. They but they don't do corner six. SD now. The corner has spoiled over over seven point five for SD. But finally, that was Madrid, Madrid and Barcelona. They go give me ten corners. If you get twenty million, put them. I don't tell you. <laughs> hey, Ini, you are playing a very dangerous game here, Ini. Chelsea go do go 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 go. I can't guarantee that too. Go go. But I think I think that haram football where shall be the play. Leave go go. No, I know. I know. Play go go. The big go play me. I I can guarantee you, Christ the Redeemer. Anytime go scorer. You better not. Anytime go scorer. I can guarantee that. That's all. That's all. Now, to ask how far they write for Twitter when Jesus called to, they say, Rely on Jesus, he saves. I say, My God, thunder strike all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be the reason why they collide us. Stop this nonsense <laughs> on your face. <laughs> no, but I think, but I think with the, with the amount. Now, why of... nothing? Now, why not? So, sorry, right? Now, why nothing vex me this season? Like that, the devil is in all of us, what United do. Hey, no, I, you know, I, 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 I look at this from, from, from the spiritual this, angle. People are doing. They know they know that they went back, back to back now, Seth. They 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 that they, they win since you just come. You say you say the devil is in you, he's in me. I say, oh, Jesus Christ. This, this, is is this is what I'm putting for trouble. <laughs> they have made us they have destroyed. We made a small goodwill where we made small champions for the small champions when you qualify. We got God just looking and say, ah. This war between me and Satan. Say, say this is one you want to move more people to, to the devil. You only guys, okay, no other. Yeah. Make I make you I know, say, small for now. I think that with, never the, win. with the amount of with the amount of uh with the amount of injuries Barcelona have, because they have they have quite a lot. The amount of injuries, I, I hear I, I hear um ja Felix went out injured, I think yesterday. Yeah, but well. he said he's, he, he said it's fine. It's, that is something okay. minor. Sure. Okay. But but even 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 then. I don't know what is happening with Madrid. Yeah, Jude Bellingham scores, but that that it just feels like they're not convinced. I, that Barcelona yeah. team now, I me, mean, I feel like Madrid should be beating them <laughs> with what they have now. Got a couple injury. Pedri is out. Uh, what's his name now? Rafinha is out. Uh, Lewandowski has been injured. I don't know if he's gonna be picking yeah. up for the game. No, I no Madrid should be. Yeah, I think Madrid should be winning, but. I don't know. Again, I, 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 I struggle. Yeah, I think I'm it's more struggling. balanced, anyways. I, I can't I, my I, 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 I think I think I, I struggle yeah. to see Madrid win away from home, and I'll lean towards a draw or even a Barcelona win. I think Barcelona at home are very imperious, and like you, you mentioned, when you're not conceding, the chances of you scoring, the chances of you going at the other end and making a goal is very high, and. And Barcelona have got some really exciting youngsters and some of these players, some of these young players. It looks like La Masia are churning out, you know, not, not hey, necessarily hey. the not, stop, not hey, necessarily hey, stop the stop 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 generation. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. No, no, no. Not, not necessarily the Niesta generation, but they're churning out some really good good players. I think they're doing no deal. You know, you know that you know that you know that uh that guy we blue share for Twitter, that that's a that that gif. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are back. We are back to the era no, where Masia is the best academy in the world. I beg, stop no, 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 it's not. It's not. But they've got the. Uh, the IBK no knows them now. IBK call them your people. My own is that those boys are 15, 16 year olds. You cannot put Barcelona, a Barcelona season on their shoulder. Let those boys go pass their exams in peace. Very soon, I'm waiting to get injured. I'm waiting to get injured. Do Pedri, do Pedri. Do Pedri. Yeah. Yeah. Out for how long now? I'm telling you. Ingo, they are Ingo, 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 they are Ingo, they are right. Ruin, 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 now 35 till now. Ruin is not 35 yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, guy. <laughs> yes, now, even with, even with this guy, too. See when Hazard announced his retirement. That narrative of, oh, he flopped at Madrid. He's retiring early because of injuries. So he didn't have what to like? That brother was playing at 17 and Lille. The most important player at Lille. He won the league now. When Torres Yeah, won the league. Yeah. When did Torres expire? Torres, was, he... Torres was... When Torres, when Torres expire? Exactly. Torres was captain 
at 19, I'll be 18. Or let's yeah. go Madrid. You know, yeah. say now this Ronaldo and Messi now he cause these things. And now this Ronaldo and Messi now he cause problems. You, know, you get now he cause now, now, cost all the now before way. you know say um, back in the day when analysts they talk they go say you know as a professional fo- footballer your shelf life is ten years. Ronaldo and Messi don't destroy that. This and everybody they think say every player will be 10, 12 years no deal, no get longevity again. Uh, you get so anyway that's it. Uh, let's just do um this uh Man City. Is there a big game in Italy? Manchester Derby. There's, Nap- uh, there's Napoli AC Milan. They say AC Milan is Inter for Napoli. Is, is Inter not playing Roma this weekend? They are. Uh, they are they playing are. Roma, yeah. Um, but that's mad. This that's weekend, wild, man. Inter, oh, Inter will be true, Masha. Straight win. I can I can put anything on it. Which everything? Straight, 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 straight winning for who? Inter Milan. Inter, okay, yeah, of course. Come on, it's that's really Zaggy guy. That that Zaggy guy is actually a very good coach. Yeah, he, he is actually. He's a good, yeah, coach. A very very good coach. coach. I would like to see. I like to see how they how they do how they how, how they approach the carry themselves in Champions League this year. I think that's where this this season, Europe. Now I would take, you know, run the rule of. He's a very very good coach. Very good coach. You know, like and, and, they've, and they've, that, they've started well. They've started well. Some yeah, yeah. from. From three matches, bro. They're very good, man. They're very, very good. Like, um, this um, AC Milan Napoli, Napoli at home. I think Osimhen is not fit now. It's not. It's, it's Osimhen is not fit. Osimhen on the vex. You know the. You, you see, <laughs> I see a video where in the in the vest of fans, he is right on the car. That kind of thing. I see, man. You see this football, man. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like a cycle. My fans are very fickle, man. Bro, bro, no, like. No, so apparently they want just you know now fan love, they but they write on the calendar. Oh, okay. But you see, when all is well, eh, if you know that vex, yeah, you get when all they rosy, or if you know that vex, you get that video if you don't even come outside. Say I in the vex, say some fans are running. It's like the end is beginning to be near. I just heard it. The, what, what I heard that was disturbing for me is that the Lawrence said the guy has a contract to 2025. No, 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 no. The, 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 the Laurenti said the contract they was offered, him, and they had a offered. gentleman agreement that he was going to sign it, but he never signed it. <laughs> so the Laurenti no. said they so said the, they the current contract. Mind, then he said the current contract he has. You know what he what you know what we were going to give him was to increase his pay. Yeah. Right. And it made a year a little bit, but I hear that the current what he has currently is twenty twenty five. Oh, interesting. Uh, wow. At least the release clause will see they lower than if they had signed the new one. Yeah, I just I, uh, I think you need to get out of there, sir. I think it's I think it's it out of there. They went you know, and I had a if Rudy, if, Rudy Garcia. I don't know you know, if he was if he wasn't clear to him, you know what was clear to us, and we're not we're not we're not uh, we're not uh, Nostradamus. You get, but I mean as a matter of by by just virtue of you know watching some stuff and seeing some stuff. Um, you can you can just you can decipher some things. What was clear to me in the summer, right, is that you are at the top of the mountain. You were only going to start coming down if you did not like. The was is that is, is I think it's apparent to him now. Daomo, this shit is not going to last for a long time. You know what I'll say, right? You know what I'll say. Why else? Why else has he not signed the contract? I remember when I remember when I can't remember who we were speaking to. But I know that we spoke to someone, and this person, I, I, this person was maybe had, I can't remember. But the person was saying why he didn't agree with Osime moving for 75 million at the time to Napoli was that it would be difficult for him to make another big money move. So that's why when a football player and his team, they plan the trajectory. Okay. For example, you know, if you if you go to Oh, you have all these teams coming after you. Okay, if we take this one, you can go there because also you can identify the teams that are not, how do I put it? Can I call it, they are not legacy teams in the sense that the teams are not built to want to dominate and win Win. every year. Those are the kind of teams that you can say, oh, I'm here because we're still the best and we're going to win next season. We're still going to win next season. So you are Napoli. You should have understood even before signing. 
I don't fault you for signing. Fantastic. But even before signing, with your team, you can tell that this is not a team that is being built no, it's not, it's to not, dominate. Not yeah. Exactly. To dominate the Serie A for the next seven, five years or whatever. And you now happen to do it and win the Serie A after the first time after in, in 30 years. That's your cue, my guy. That's your cue. So that's your and, next and, 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 and it's, it's brilliant. It's your a brilliant point you make. Is, where is that now? That move to that legacy team. Where is that team now that can come in and pay that big money? Pay me a very good amount too. But we're here to dominate. And here yeah. for a long time. So that, that's the trajectory. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. He can I, still I, get I think, that I think we I think we spoke about it on the on the podcast, you know, uh, how players, you know, plan their trajectory. I think Haaland yeah. is Haaland is the most recent example. And I think yeah. Hoyland as well is another <laughs> good, a very good example. So Hoyland is 20, right? He's 20. He has made three moves already. Right? Three. He's done uh Strans, uh Strom, Strom, uh, Strom, uh, Strom, uh, Strom, uh, From his uh, whatever down to Atalanta. You know, yeah. done Copenhagen, done Atalanta, done United. I bet you can still make two more moves in his career. Yeah. Get? Um and all the money, all the moves he has made is those reasonable money, which is all if I said Haaland, for example, same thing. Haaland went from this to this, then Dortmund, then yeah. Man City. Even a 52 goal scorer can still move from there and go to the next level. Can still again. move again for, for a bigger amount of money. For a bigger can amount of money. Move. So the, the point of IMAX is important. And that's why I find that um, there is a weird relationship between Nigerian athletes or, or players and, and creatives or opinion or, or, or people that like you know opinion makers that's the word you know because i we because we yeah, are not journalists yeah, i don't yeah. i don't see myself as journalists you know an opinion there's a weird relationship between footballers in nigeria that play in europe or even the ones that play locally and opinion makers right there is there is there is an animosity from the sometimes the footballers side or the athlete side almost as if we are at all to each other, or we are trying to create a there's a rivalry, or we we they fight one thing. We're not we we're not we're not disputing over anything. Yep. Of course, more often than not, nobody likes criticism. So when they criticize, there's that, that tendency to be like, you know, log off. I'm like, you know, fuck you guys. You know, I play my game, which is why again, a guy like Ozo would make that kind of comment and say, you will try to make white man, you know, sign you, right? But also, when you make the comment about Simon, or we made that comment last season about Simon, and you know, if someone on his team, whatever, and I'm sure he has, a, you know, I'm sure he has smart people around him, you know, people, because I know some of the people around him, some of the people around him are intelligent people. If someone even just takes a step back and says, you know what, what is the, what is the merit of these people's conversation, right? You might now get new insights as to. What is the plan now for a player like Osimhen? It might be too late, right, to now foist that plan, right? So it might be a case of we we'll have to make it up as we go. But for younger players coming up, right, it is a yeah. clear lesson. Like when you are moving, this is club. This is what this club is about now. If I move here, this is what is right now. What is the trajectory of my 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 career, my my path? With these agents, and it's an important thing that agents must know early on. The, the move yep. is important. The, the first move is not the most important move. You know that that commission. They will nice see. You know, about, there's a clear chart. There's a clear chart. Okay, these are the clubs that are looking for you now. These are the clubs that are looking for you now. At this level that you are at, of all these clubs that are looking for you now, which one of them gives us the best chance for you to get here? Okay. Well, we know that we want to get here. And, so, and, and I was going to say, I think a lot of things will change when our players start going into professional football, not just because they want to make money. Don't get money is important. Don't make nobody be school to me. Make that your money. But when our players also begin to put the possibilities and what they can achieve, side by side with the money they can make. That way, 
you know that, okay, if we want to get here, but this is where we are. These are the clubs looking for you now. We have to pick the best one, the, the one that gives us the best opportunity to get to this next place. When we get here, these are the ones looking for you now. We have to pick the best, the one that gives us the best chance to get to that next place. You look at Cristiano Ronaldo. At the time, that documentary, John Mendes said it. The only reason he went to United, there were lots of players, lots of teams. The only reason he went to United, they had a conversation. This kid is going to play at least 50% of the games. Because they're not thinking about um, the kid from Madeira, Portugal, completely poor home. He's not. This is, they are not thinking about Omar. Um, he's going to go to United and earn this whole money. That's not the crux of the conversation. Yeah, United, big team, biggest team in Europe. Da, da, da. But we're seeing beyond that. We want to create a room for him to be able to even go beyond that. How do we do that? Yeah. His development needs to be side by side with the money if he you, makes. If you, if you if you watch David Beckham uh, um, documentary series on Netflix, you know yeah. Beckham very early on, you know says. I want. I wanted to be more than a footballer, right? Absolutely. And, he knew, and, so, Absolutely. and the moment he knew, the moment he knew that, he now informed his choice of agents. His choice of agents, you know, or, Alex. Right, his choice Alex of agents or, agent or agency. Yeah, because I just want a different. You know, so I just want a football guy. You know, but you know, exactly. I need to sign up to guys, to guys that have, you know, ideas in other places. So he started working with brands. Did you get? Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. that kind of thing. So, anyways, that's that's that's, that's all that. Let's just do these predictions and 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 leave it there for today. I think we had a very nice uh, chat. I'm sure everyone who is um, listening in will be like, "This is a very nice, uh, nice, nice." We don't cook on today, so it's um, all we ask is that you share, um, you share the podcast. All we ask is that you leave a comment. And I always say that this is where I follow my favorite shows. I I, I try to. I can't. I can't wait till the end to give a comment. I pause. You know, make my comments and. You know, come back. Good thing YouTube allows you to come back to the exact same place you are at when you're when you're watching. Uh, let's let's let you go. Let's um let's predict uh, this uh, fixture for this weekend, right? Um, Man City United. Man United. Man City. One one draw. Ah, you get mine, no? <laughs> I don't trap for. I don't trap for right. No, it's the guy yeah, of yeah, yeah, United yeah. can turn up now. It's the kind of draw. Game. Draw. Let's go. Uh, Liverpool Forest. Liverpool win three <laughs> 0 Luton. Uh, um, sorry, Brighton Fulham. Brighton Fulham. Both teams to score. That has happened in Aston every Villa. game Brighton has played this season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Aston Villa Luton. Both teams to score. Aston Villa man. Aston Villa. Emery. We'll do a we'll do a Unai Emery episode. Yeah, you know, we'll, we, we, we we'll should. Find <laughs> we'll put we'll, we'll put him in. We'll put him in. Right. Uh, West Ham Everton. West Ham Everton over nine point five corner kicks. <laughs> Don't buy me. <laughs> I think West Ham win. I think West Ham win. Wolves Newcastle. Wolves Newcastle. Newcastle. Will... Wolves Newcastle. Who is that at home? Wolves. Wolves are at home. Wolves win or draw. I think Newcastle. I think Newcastle. I think I think Newcastle beat them three one. You see that? Did you see that Gary O'Neill Gary Gary O'Neill video where he was showing how they approached the game against Man City on Monday Night Football? No, I didn't see. I'm not. I should, 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 should check it out. Check it out. Um, Sheffield. Bournemouth. Who? Chef? That, no, that's that's the wrong. That's the wrong thing. Um, no, 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 that's wrong. Actually, hold on a sec. But Bournemouth, Aspen, Burnley. Beg your pardon. Bournemouth, Burnley. Both teams to score. I fancy Burn, 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 Bournemouth will win, but both teams to score. <clears throat> Alpha is a company. The Alpha ticket can do what, What's happening? He go clear fire. Don't worry. They'll fire him in December. <laughs> Now they talk now. Say, say Jam, you know they see him, mate. Jam, they play around football. You know they see him, mate. Company. You know they see him. He's not, he, he's not convinced some, about his principles. Aston, testicular 42. <laughs> <laughs> Aston, Sheffield. Aston win 3 0. Chelsea, Brentford. Chelsea win 2 1. 
Frank Oyeka, any time goal scorer. <laughs> Where's the game? Is the game at Stamford Bridge? Bridge. Stamford Is Bridge, it Chelsea will win two one? Yeah, yeah, Bridge. I told you guys that Chelsea would do at the bridge. There's something about the bridge. <laughs> we are not great. <laughs> I said Arsenal Palace. would have drawn that game. I said Arsenal would have drawn. Palace Tottenham. Palace Tottenham. Crystal Palace yeah. win or draw. Right. Fantastic. Uh, see, Rufai, the Arsenal United... fan in, in your bomb will not let Tottenham be great. The Arsenal fan in it. No, no, no. But Rufai, Palace, uh, it's a horse park. Southhurst Park under the lights on a Friday God, night. You go explain, you go explain under the lights. <laughs> under the lights. Light. Moving on. <laughs> but actually, 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 it's under the lights. It's eight o'clock. So eight sorry, o'clock. Sorry, sorry. Night. I think so now. <laughs> under, under, under the moon, in the rain, and in the sun. <laughs> Rufai, uh, United Masti. United City. Oof. Yeah. Both teams to score. Hala, anytime go score. Of course. Liverpool Forest. Liverpool to win. Brighton Fulham. Ooh, Brighton Fulham. Yeah, I agree. Both teams to score. Villa Luton. Villa to win. West Ham Everton. West Ham. West Ham to win. Wolves, Newcastle. Newcastle to win. Bournemouth, Burnley. Both teams to score. Brentford, Arsenal. Brentford, Arsenal. No, Arsenal, Sheffield, I beg your pardon. Arsenal, the... Arsenal to win. Arsenal to win. Uh, Arsenal to win. Uh, Chelsea, Brentford. Chelsea win or draw. Chelsea win or draw. Palace Tottenham. Palace Tottenham. Tottenham to win. I think Abike is frozen on. ABK, there. I know Frizo, no, I'm not Frizo. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, Barca, uh, Real Madrid, Pasco. Draw. I think 1-1. One, one. Mm. Let's cross over to um, Premier League. United City. Both teams to score. No straight win. Both teams to score. I don't. I don't. I think it's going to end the draw. Liverpool Forest. Forest and the cap four. <laughs> What's that one mean? What's it with that one? I mean, how you go know, go give Forest? How you go give uh, 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 Forest four goals to win Liverpool? What's it they happen? Who did they? Now see. That means Who ball. The team to you balls. Now, if Liverpool, if Liverpool beat them five zero, you don't buzz with that. Now, pretty sure what they do, my brother. We know they give people tickets. Now, pretty sure what they do. That one, you go far. <laughs> <laughs> go, let's leave it at go, go and win or draw. Okay. Oh yeah, leave Liverpool to win. Liverpool to win. Oh, I mean, betting addicts. So I need to. I need rehab. <laughs> they say tonally. Now, now they say they won't give a rehab. Say, but you go to train. I'm like, this is this an injustice. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Brighton, Brighton, Fulham. Um, Brighton to win. Mm. Aston Villa, Luton. Easy win for Aston Villa. Three nil. West Ham, Everton. Two two. Sounds fair. Wolves, Newcastle. Um, Wolves to win. One nil. Mm. Wow. Bournemouth, Burnley. I think Burnley will get the win. 2 1. Wow, we're from home. Arsenal, Sheffield. 2 0 for Arsenal. Sounds fair. Chelsea, Bradford. 
Chelsea Brentford. That was like a three one game. Three one to Chelsea. Palace Tottenham. Under the lights. Two new um Tottenham. Two new. Sounds about right. Uh gentlemen, thanks, man. We had a nice hangout. Um yep. see you guys Ooh. next week. Same time, same place. Yeah. Yep, yep, I think yep, it's yep. nice for speaking to the uh-huh. end. Is this, all, this, this is up for two hours, Abby. More than, more like more than, three than, hours, guys. More than, uh, so what you go, what you go, what you go, what you go, and it's uh, anyway, uh, see yes. you guys soon. Thanks okay, to all the guys who, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. last episode. Okay. See you guys, bye. All right, off flight. Last person to come on, make your flight. <laughs>